American comic Double Thor comparison, Odin is envious. 101 Scary Future, False Past, Ad, Chatterham, Magician King, Space Time Invasion, This. I don't remember anything like this ever happening in Kamataj, President Loki, oh who, TVA is going to work. Tony, that sounds a little bad, is it serious? Baron Mordo, more than serious. Neither Hell Invasion nor Black Magic Dimension Invasion can compare to Time Invasion. It can cause a new timeline to split and the most terrifying consequences will cause the entire universe to be destroyed. Quill, isn't that an exaggeration? Richard, time is the most important cornerstone of the universe, especially if some important time anchor points are modified or destroyed, the consequences will be subversive. Definitely, this is only the case in the theoretical model, and the real situation has not happened yet. Baron Mordo, it may have happened, but we don't know it, after all it will leave no trace. Eshore. I still can't believe that the scientific evidence of our advanced civilization does not support this theory. Dark Doctor Strange, no, that's not a theory because things like this have happened. If there are other me in the chat room, I hope you can remember that you must not forcibly modify the absolute time point. Perhaps it is these pains that make us who we are. Gautanzun, when the universe dies, is eternity also dead? Quill, damn, I got goosebumps when I heard it. Boss, you didn't really destroy a universe, did you? Baron Mordo. Strange. I knew O33 that you are the scourge of the universe, no matter which world. Tony. No. Why are you still alive when the universe is destroyed? Black Strange. Don't take chances. I created a pocket dimension. And that is not living. It is my eternal imprisonment and punishment of myself. Hearing this, many people in the chat room were suffocated. Create pocket dimensions. Survive the destruction of the universe. And does eternal imprisonment also mean eternal life? What kind of boss is this him? Inside TVA, Mobius felt even more terrifying. How can the annihilation of the universe be so easy? Basically all space-time invasions are just adding timelines. The absolute point of time is extremely strong and can hardly be changed. But this man did it. This shows that the other party not only has the power to manipulate time, but also originally strength is unimaginably high. In the ruined moon god temple, when Kong Su saw the invasion of time, the fire of his soul trembled violently. This word made him instinctively think of a person. Pharaoh Kang, the person who almost destroyed the trash thousands of years ago, returned from the future to the past. Although it was said that he was defeated by several moonlight knights who followed, he knew that the other party was not dead at all, but just fled to other times. Add. Now. Is this scary guy back? Stark building. Tony felt uneasy. The time point in the light curtain is almost the same as the time he is in now. Then at this moment, at the moment, there is also a possibility of time invasion. Chaitori army, they can barely handle it. But what about the time invasion? If it wasn't for the light curtain, I and others wouldn't even know there was such a thing. And how big is the enemy that can invade time? At this moment, the screen suddenly flickered when it recovered. The scene in the light curtain had come to a hall. This is a huge exhibition hall with thousands of square meters. A platform is built in the middle of the hall, with tens of thousands of palm-sized circular lenses hanging upside down above it. As the angle of view moves, through the glass curtain wall of the hall, you can see several fighter planes with folded wings parked outside. Nick Fury, why do these fighter jets look so familiar? Tony, I saw it in your database, it is a concept map of the future SHIELD fighter, Hawkeye. So this is S-H-I-E-L-D. Natasha Romanoff, no, S-H-I-E-L-D over there is also using Quinjet at this time. At this time, a more futuristic super large spaceship appears in the panning perspective. Quill, damn. Isn't this my Milano? Why is it parked there? Tony, are you sure? Quill, my own spaceship, I know it even when it's broken. Loki, your midget is getting more and more evil, but as good is better. Outside the light curtain, Tony wanted to punch Loki. But at this moment... An even more unbelievable scene appeared. Huge amounts of footsteps suddenly appeared in the exhibition hall. The next second, a group of people wearing the same battle uniforms walked in from outside. Their expressions are serious, with the momentum of seeing death as home. Outside the light curtain. When these people appeared in the light curtain, the chat room exploded instantly. Gamera, that's Nebula. Nebula, impossible. How could I be with a group of lower creatures? This must be fake. Supreme Evolution, 89P13. He he. I didn't expect to meet you this way. Rocket, Humphrey, Sif, Prince Thor, Loki, so greasy Thor, did you eat toad? Frig, oh, the kid should have some salad. Hawkeye, is there something wrong with my eyes? Is this Hulk? Emil Bronski, how is this possible? Dot 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 feeling. Like the friendly granny next door. Tony, I can still understand Hulk, maybe he's mutated again. But can anyone tell me why there is a blue alien in the team, and a standing raccoon? Add, Rocket, your family is all raccoons. My name is Rocket. Rocket. Groot. Lamb. Groot. Tony. Is it scolding me? Damn. Rockets. Quite the contrary. It says you should pay attention to quality. Rhodes. Hee hee. Tony. You were mocked by a plant. Eshaw, the daughter of the Dark Titan. 
the experimental subject 89P13, Thor of the heirs of Protoss, plus a few people from Earth, this team is too strange. Quill, no, shouldn't it be even more strange that I'm not in this team? Obviously my spaceship is outside, Falk, Gamera. Is it hard to understand? With your stupidity, you might have died in that timeline. Quill, bad, I F King think what you're saying makes a lot of sense. Natasha Romanoff, read on, guesswork is pointless. As everyone walks to the round platform, Captain America's deep voice sounds, five years ago, we all fell flat, lost friends, and lost family. We even lost ourselves. But today, we have a chance to take it all back. Six infinite gems, three teams. Remember, everyone has only one chance to go back and forth. You can't make mistakes, you can't hurry. What we are about to face is the familiar past. But we may also encounter unexpected situations. This is our destiny. We will win at all costs. Magician Wang, this. Is this the future? Tony, so, I'm the time invader. This. This is impossible. If I could figure out how to travel through time, it would be impossible not to know the dire consequences of doing so. Banner, looks like something absolutely horrific happened and we had to go back in time to get infinite gems. Rockets, never mind what it is. The big man mobilized before the war and said it really well, and now I'm excited to hear it. Agatha, I seem to have discovered a more terrifying fact. Tony, infinite gems. In the light curtain, they can only go back to the past to find infinite gems. That is to say, King Magician, all infinite gems are gone. Eshor, how is this possible? The strength of infinite gems, even a planet cut to can't cut it. Quill, I feel like my scalp is tingling, there must be some other disaster in the level universe, otherwise I wouldn't die. Tony. This time, I think it's very likely that you're right, Baron Mordo. But even so, you shouldn't travel through time. You cannot accept failure, but it is likely to drag the entire universe into the abyss. Steve, maybe. The universe is already in the abyss. At this time, as the Hulk pressed the start switch of the instrument, the tens of thousands of wafers above the round table began to transform and aggregate. Everyone, see you in a minute. As Natasha Romanoff said the last sentence with a smile, the space above the head instantly turned into an energy state revealing a deeper realm, add, this is, the quantum realm, Tony's eyes widened, he didn't expect the key to time travel to be here, but he didn't say it in the chat room, this secret, it's best to keep it a secret forever, in an instant, everyone's bodies shrunk rapidly, and then they were submerged under huge amounts of gravity, after entering the bizarre passage, we divided into three teams and entered different passages, the next moment, time, 2012, location, New York, in a certain alley, as four blue dots appeared in the space, Dr. Banner, Steve Rogers, Tony Stark, Scott Lang broke through, and instantly returned to their normal body shape. Cancel the helmet barrier, several people carefully look around. At this time, Scott asks doubtfully, although I was in prison at that time, shouldn't New York be suffering from alien invasion at this time? Tony, are you sure you didn't adjust the timing wrong? Dr. Banner said anxiously, not a single Chitori, it looks like there is no war at all. Steve frowned. Although he believed in Tony's ability, something was wrong in front of him. Tony's face is also not good looking. Pime particles are only enough for one time travel, they have no more chances. If the time is wrong, you will fall into a place of eternal doom. Friday, scan time. As he gave the order, an invisible wave band was released from the chest 5.3. After a few seconds, Tony's face turned ugly. Seeing this, Scott suddenly asked nervously, Really wrong? No. It's May 12, 2012. Tony suppressed his uneasiness and said, but there is no Chitori invasion in this past, obviously there is a problem 3. Everyone, this may be more terrifying than going to the wrong time. At this moment, Captain America took a deep breath and said, things have come to this point, it's useless to think so much, we can only go on. According to the original plan, I'm going back to SHIELD, Tony, you and Scott go to Stark Mansion, Dr. Banner dot 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 you go to Greenwich Village. Hearing this, the other two nodded, there is no other better way for now, dot. After half an hour, walking cautiously along the alley, Banner, who saw a bedsheet, jumped up to a rooftop. If he read the terrain correctly, this is Kamataj's New York to Holy Place, Brick Street 177A. At this moment, he suddenly saw the roof door being pushed open, and then a familiar person came out from inside. Banner suddenly shouted in shock, Thor, why are you here? Dot. 102 A Palm of the Soul. The Terrible Truth. Add. Under the scorching sun, Dr. Banner was a little dazed feeling that the Thor he beat up at that time didn't seem to be dressed so elegantly. But this is not important, seeing that the other party didn't answer, he looked around and confirmed that this is Brick 177A, then said, Why are you here, Doctor Strange? Thor looked at the acquaintance in front of him, and said calmly, If you're looking for Stephen Strange, you're probably here five years early. He's in surgery twenty blocks away right now. Inside the Presbyterian Hospital, Strange felt a little unbelievable at this moment. If it is true in the light curtain. I will become a magician in five years. It's hard to describe this feeling, 
knowing that he can be a staunch materialist before. I don't know what happened according to the original timeline process. Maybe it's because of his extraordinary ability. Maybe Kamartaj begged himself to go. At this time, Thor looked at the bewildered Hulk and continued. What are you doing with Strange? Dr. Banner sighs. I'm not looking for him. I'm looking for Time Gem. The thing is in him. No, Time Gem can't be on him now. As he spoke, his eyes lit up, looking at Thor and asking expectantly. You just came out of Holy Place in New York. Do you know where Kamartaj put Time Gem 22? No Thor said very succinctly. Great. Dr. Banner clapped his hands excitedly. Thor, tell me where the Time Gem is. It's very critical to the future. Thor looked at the Hulk calmly, then slowly raised his right palm. As the five fingers spread out, a gemstone exuding a green light appeared on it. Dr. Banner was overjoyed upon seeing this. Great, it's here with you. Give it to me quickly. But the voice fell, and he saw Thor put down his palm and Time Gem disappeared immediately. Dr. Banner shrugs at this, well, since there is no Chaitori at this point in time, you should not have been beaten by me yet. But it doesn't matter, anyway, I don't intend to be kind. Sorry, Yuena. Add, as he spoke, he showed a confident smile and walked forward with a strong sense of oppression. Trust me, you will regret it, Thor said lightly. But I need rough stones, I don't have time to argue with you. Dr. Banner reached out and grabbed Thor's shoulder. But at this very moment, Thor suddenly slaps forward with his palm. Outside the light curtain, many people suddenly showed eyes that couldn't bear to look directly, and didn't want to see the scene of blood and flesh flying everywhere. However, the picture imagined in the next second did not appear. Boom. A muffled sound. Faint ripples appear in the space. Time seems to slow down at this moment. Dr. Banner flies backwards at a speed of a few millimeters per second. At first glance, it looks like the suspect is in midair. But it's not just the body that flies backwards. Dr. Banner's astral body with a normal file size was directly blasted out by a palm, floating in midair with a bewildered expression. Quill, damn it, the slap got the soul out. Agatha, this spellcasting technique is really perverted, it is completely my own astral projection used on others. Modu, just from the magician's point of view, this Thor is fully qualified to be the Sorcerer Supreme. Magician Wang, every time I watch Thor cast a spell, I feel more useless. Baron Mordo, no one can match, I have never been so convinced in my life. Am I dead? Dr. Banner panicked, Thor gently pushes away the big green guy and waved his hand. Suddenly, two slap-sized magic circles lit up on the ground, and two golden chains shot out, and retracted suddenly after locking Banner's astral body hands. Thor lowered his head at this time, looking down with indifferent A's. Come on, Bruce Banner, tell me all you know now. In an instant, Banner felt like a primitive man being watched by a beast. The fear that hadn't appeared in more than twenty years reappeared in his heart at this moment. He couldn't help shouting in shock. You dot 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 you are not the Thor I know. Who are you? Thor shakes his head slightly. No, what you should say now is dot 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 who am I? You still have another chance. Dr. Banner became anxious immediately. It doesn't matter if you die, but if you don't get the time gem, everything will be in vain. Add. He didn't care about his dignity at all, and begged. Thor, we really need time gem. Otherwise half of the life in the universe will really die, and there will be no chance to save it. As soon as these words came out, it was like a bolt from the blue falling on the minds of countless people. Chatterum, Quill, wait. Half the life in the universe? You tell me, I must have heard wrong. Yondu, no. And dot 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 I don't think this person is lying. Rocket. But such a disaster, I can't imagine how it happened. Sif, and exactly half of life, how does this not sound like a natural disaster, but a man-made disaster? Eshor. Impossible. We sovereigns have the most powerful technology in the entire universe. Nothing can kill half of our population. What's more, the Nova Empire, the Kree Empire, and the Shia Empire are all top-level powers. Absolutely no force can defeat alone. Fighting swords, I don't think it's possible either. The most powerful being in the universe wouldn't do such a thing, and neither can the rest of us. What's more, what's the point of this kind of killing? Perhaps, this is like a natural disaster initiated by man-made disasters. Just like darkness and strangeness destroying the rules of the universe. At this time, Thor frowned, unable to understand. Exactly half of life? How did it happen? Half life is too coincidental to be a natural disaster. But if you can do this, why leave the remaining half of your life? Hearing this, Dr. Banner said excitedly. X. This lunatic used six infinite gems to randomly kill half of the life in the universe, and then made a wish to destroy all the gems in order to prevent resurrection. The chat room was quiet for a second, and then broke out completely. Eshor. Crazy, you crazy, Thanos. Quill, I always thought it was just an exaggerated title, but it turned out to be true. Rocket, no, that's not enough to show his madness. That's half the life in the universe, I can't imagine why it would be done. King Magician, this is even scarier than those Mephisters peeping into the dimension of reality. Certi, is he also because of fate, to bring twilight to the world? Ronan, Thanos is not your idiot. Add, Collector, 
Six infinite gems can grant almost any wish, but he chooses to kill. Isn't it really stupid? Deadpool? Ah, I see. This guy must be trying to please the goddess of death. I knew he wouldn't give up. Mystery. You are a psychopath in the X-Men universe, guessing Thanos in the 199,999 universe, thinking too much. Agatha, but I think it makes sense. 663. Dujian, it's meaningless to say so much. Thanos, you wouldn't choose to play dead, would you? Don't use different timelines as an excuse. Even I think these people in the light curtain are probably our timeline. Thanos, nothing to hide. All I do is for the balance of the universe. Oversaturated life, limited resources. In the end, it will inevitably fall into a war in the whole universe until everything is destroyed. I'm preventing the end of the universe. You should be grateful to me. Will, Gautan's un, as use, Groot. At this moment, most of the people who are qualified to exist in the chat room are asking questions. They guessed that it was because of madness, fighting, lack of humanity in their hearts, for blood sacrifices, for power, and all other terrifying possibilities. But I didn't expect that the final answer turned out to be for the balance of the universe. It's as outrageous as a person saying to a newly killed corpse, I live better for you. For a while, the chat room fell into an eerie silence. Roof. With Dr. Banner's explanation, Thor also fell into his first self-doubt. He doesn't know what kind of clever brain and brain circuit Thanos can think of. But what's even more outrageous is that the other party really did it in the end. Is the self in another timeline a waste? Nothing can stop me. And according to the Hulk, Thanos is now collecting six infinite gems. Then the Chitauri army that just invaded the Earth has an explanation. Thanos should be testing him. So, it seems that those scrolls have come to a useful place. However, Thor is in no hurry. Now, we should consider how to deal with these space-time invaders. There are three more outside, catch them first and then talk. Dot. 103 Shock from the Future Add Historical Stark Mansion Story from the Future Stark and Ant-Man sneaked into the top floor. He knows the style of him and some information in SHIELD has been copied back by him long ago. By the way, I can also help Nick Fury patch up the firewall. The topmost floor of the at the moment building is empty, and there is no scene of Hulk beating Loki that should have been there. But the moment he stepped into the room, the voice of J.A.R.V.I.S. suddenly sounded, Mr. She Stark, it has been detected that your heart rate is high. Do you need me to call Miss Potts for you? F.K. me. The Ant-Man lying in his hair almost got bigger with fright. Tony was also shocked and almost summoned the armor out of shit. He is a little confused. Have I installed the butler here so early? Didn't it be when the end of the Great War turned this place into the Avengers Mansion? If he remembers correctly, there still seems to be a Stark logo on the outside. It's getting weirder. I obviously traveled to the right time. Why everything changed. However, Tony still pretended to be calm and said, No need, I'm just a little hot. Turn on the air conditioner for me. Yes, Mr. Stark. Tony went to the desk next to the window as if nothing had happened. The computer was turned on. He stretched out his finger and pressed the U-port of the computer, and the nano battle suit extended out and inserted the U-disc into it. Almost in an instant, the R image is projected in the glasses to help him browse the key search materials. However, as he continued to read, he became more and more frightened. Norse mythology, god of thunder, fire and wisdom, add, kill the consciousness of the coming of the lord of hell dimension, the scary red witch of Hydra base, ghost rider and demons in Los Angeles, and even, at this moment he finally knows where the Chitauri army is going, according to another self-record, just last night, three alien spaceships exploded in the outer space of the earth, two, the huge crater on the moon was also hit by super strength, and all this horror comes from one person, Thor Middledot Odinson, Tony She Stark looked dull, and couldn't help saying, I must be dreaming, how could that guy full of mayonnaise be so powerful? At this time, Ant-Man shouted in his ear, What happened she Stark, your face is even uglier than that of Xing Yun. Tony suddenly woke up like a dream. At the same time, he also instantly wanted to understand one thing. At this moment, Steve Rogers' call request lights up on the wrist. After he connected, there was a panicked voice from Captain America. No, already, a lot of things are wrong. Did you know, Hydra has been completely cleared from SHIELD, and Phil Coulson is not dead. Most importantly, do you know who I met? Winter Soldier? Ant-Man couldn't help but say, It's Captain Marvel Carol. She recognized me as me at this point in time. But do you know what she told me? Captain America said excitedly, Just last night, Thor destroyed the main ship of the Dark Legion, and then beat Carol half to death, and deprived her of her strength with my own hands. Tony, you and I both know how powerful Captain Marvel is. Thanos without gems can't defeat her. But, Carol said she was completely crushed by Thor 1. In the end, I didn't even have a chance to touch the corner of the other party's clothes and Thor used magic to pull all the power away, add, Captain America said everything he knew in one breath, and the strong shock and puzzlement in his voice could not be concealed, at this time, 
Tony also told what he saw. Ant-Man was already dumbfounded after he finished speaking the last word, and there was only the sound of heavy breathing that could not be suppressed in the communication. No one outside the light curtain laughed at the reaction of the three at the moment. Because if they hear these words for the first time, it will definitely be even more embarrassing, especially those who know Thor, will be shocked by this strong contrast and think they are dreaming. After a few seconds, Tony took a deep breath and said, Captain. These are actually not the most important things. This Thor is too powerful. I now strongly suspect that we are on the wrong timeline. This is not our past at all. Then what to do? What to do? Are we finished? Ant-Man is really anxious like an ant at this moment. Let's meet up first. Let Banner Captain America stopped suddenly halfway through speaking. Tony also widened his eyes suddenly. Magic. The data show that the Ancient One is dead, and Thor's magic is very powerful. Ant-Man's heart trembled suddenly, and he panicked. God. This Thor won't be the Supreme Lake. Doesn't that mean that Bruce will just meet him? Tony wiped the sweat oozing from his forehead, suppressing the uneasiness in his heart and said, Should dot 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 shouldn't be so unlucky. And just as his voice fell, a faint voice came from the top floor of the building. Do you mean you are unlucky to meet me? Tony and Ant-Man suddenly looked up, and saw a man wearing a golden and black robe appearing in the center of DNA Ning Yin at some point. Silent, just like standing there all the time. More importantly, the face of the other party is exactly the same as Thor. It's just that one is full of majesty, while the other is a joke. Ant-Man was frightened to a normal file size, stepped back several steps and hit the strengthening glass. Tony's heart is beating wildly, but his face is still pretending to be calm. Add, he looks at Thor, squeezes out a smile and says, how could it be unlucky? He he, I'm considering whether or not to ask you to be the spokesperson of She Stark Industry. Oh, by the way, I also want to. Hey, Pepper, you came just in time. Run. Speaking of which, Tony suddenly jumped up, the nano battle suit under his feet was the first to cover, emitting fiery energy, and slammed into the window without any hesitation. He doesn't have any luck at all. Captain Marvel is no opponent, how can I win? Does it depend on the idiot Ant-Man? Escape first. Here Ant-Man is still wondering where Miss Potts is, but he reacted after being slapped by Tony, and immediately shrank and hid in the armor that just covered it. Wow, the strengthened glass was instantly shattered, Tony's legs merged and all the nano battle weapons broke through the sound barrier and flew towards him. However, his complexion changed immediately, and there was an incomprehensible look in his eyes, because, under his, Nuo Wango, rapid flight, the distance to the building behind him is getting closer and closer. It's like this space is being compressed. A few seconds later, Tony finally couldn't help scolding Falk, because the feedback on Friday was that the space he flew in was indeed compressed. What kind of magic is this? I haven't seen Strange use it before. Tony cursed angrily, and the next second, the shoulders of the battle armor bulged, and a dozen miniature high bombs were fired towards Chi. However, the golden light lit up in an instant, and a dozen bombs passed through the portal, and then directly smeared Tony's face. Boom 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 boom. A dozen or so violent blue flames exploded in the air, and Tony was blown away from the inside, and then shattered the glass with a bang and fell to the marble floor. A few seconds later, Tony, who was covered in smoke, slowly raised his head wearing a visor, looking at Thor who was motionless from the beginning to the end and at the moment he looked down at him and said slowly, if I say, I just want to show you whether the firework I made with my hands looks good, do you believe it? K.I. 104 time to catch, add, Thor lowered his head slightly, his eyes seemed to penetrate Tony Stark's heart, and said lightly, a boring trick, the moment the voice fell, Ant-Man's body suddenly grew bigger and appeared behind him, he knelt down on one knee, with his head against the ceiling more than four meters high, and huge amounts of fist punched Thor bang. At the same time, the armor under Tony splits its propellers, emitting a surge of energy, and his upper body quickly gathers all the stored nanoparticles, forming a shape like a battering ram and hitting Thor at the same time. Tony knows that he can't beat this Thor, but the opportunity is always there, and the momentary front and rear pincer attack. The opponent can't dodge at all. The two Avengers are in perfect harmony in the battle at this moment, and as the attack got closer and closer, both of them showed surprises on their faces. This attack is bound to succeed. However, in the next second, huge amounts of fist passed through the body, and then hit the giant hamri that also penetrated the air. Thor's body loses its entity as if it were just a phantom at this moment. Boom. An air wave exploded. Ant-Man retracted his arm with a scream, and Tony flew upside down like a cannonball. Thor's body solidified again at this moment. Just a glance, a silver white lightning appeared out of thin air and instantly hit Tony who flew out. Oh, oh, oh. The thunder did not explode as imagined. The lightning that fell on the armor turned into a series of electric current coverage, directly overloading the circuit of the nano battle suit. Suddenly a puff of black smoke rose, all the nanoparticles automatically retreated to the storage position in the chest. Tony twitched like a psychopath and fell from the sky. At this time, a golden portal appeared, Tony fell in directly, and fell in front of Thor with a thud. Add. The pain in his body made him wake up from the electric current, and when he opened his eyes, 
he saw that the space actually formed a substance, a cube space cage wraps ant man's body, then shrinks rapidly, and finally forms a palm-sized transparent cube, and this is not over yet. He saw that Thor just clicked lightly, and suddenly a bolt of lightning hit Ant-Man. The latter croaked and turned into the Red Toad, with a pair of Mung Bin file-sized eyes full of fear. Before he reflected, Tony saw Thor's gaze falling on him faintly. I surrender. Don't turn me into a toad. Tony yelled out without any hesitation, and was so angry that Toad croaked and cursed extremely unpleasantly. CCDG Tony also has no choice, not to mention the failure of the battle armor, he has no combat effectiveness at all. The nano armor is still intact, judging from the few times just now, the probability of escaping is zero. So it is better to launch a mouth attack after surrendering, maybe there is still hope. After all, according to the data, this Thor is not from the evil camp, so maybe he can understand what he and others are doing. But at this moment, it seemed that the voice of a demon appeared in my ears. Surrender is late. The next second, a bolt of lightning as thick as a thumb hit Tony Stark, and the latter's screaming croak also turned into a toad. In the space cube, Ant-Man suddenly feels better. Good teammate, you won't be lonely when you two croak together. Dot. S-H-I-E-L-D, in the locker room, Captain America's hands and feet are cold at this moment. The call was interrupted, there is no doubt that something happened to Tony. Add, but it's too soon. Dr. Banner's team went to Holy Place in New York for a long time. At this moment, he suddenly heard several hurried footsteps coming from outside the locker room. And then the wooden door was kicked open instantly. Who are you? Remnants of Hydra? Natasha Romanoff is holding a pistol. Her face is cold and ready to shoot at any time. Besides her, Carol is still standing, and another Steve Rogers is still looking at her angrily. It can be seen that the other party really minds using this face. Captain America glanced out the window. Um dot 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 fifty floors and above. I guess even if I jump down, I will fall into a pie. If they are fighting dot 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 these are not crossbones, let alone hopeless. After thinking about it. He plans to use the talk method. Then he took a deep breath and said solemnly, Everyone, in fact, ah, ah, ah. The three of Black Widow couldn't stop showing their terrified expressions, and they backed up a few times at the same time. I saw the body of the fake Captain America in front of me twisting and dislocating like a Rubik's Cube, coupled with the screams from his mouth. It's just like the scene of a horror movie. Fortunately, this scene only lasted a few seconds. After rolling a few times, Captain America disappeared directly in place. Steve and Carol looked shocked while Natasha Romanoff was thoughtful. This similar scene, she has seen once. So, what is the identity of this counterfeit? It is worth the shot of that god. Dot. Holy place, New York. In the underground space, in the four transparent cells surrounded by magic circles, Tony and the others were imprisoned in an illusory state. This is for the possibility of affecting time and space. Thor locked these people in the created different space. Add. Now, while those four have caught it, According to the Hulk, there are six more slipping through to collect infinite gems at other points in time. If they are fine in their original timeline, but if they are like these people, it will be troublesome if they also enter their own timeline. Once the other party takes away the infinite gems and fails to return them in an accident, the consequences will be absolutely terrifying. You guys are really too selfish, don't you think about the consequences of failure? Thor looks at the four of them coldly. Hearing this, the case of Tan Mu Tan Tong, half of life in the universe was killed by Thanos with a snap of his fingers and the gem was also destroyed by him. If we want to save the dead, we can only borrow the power of the past. It's just, I didn't expect the same universe to have different timelines, and it's still in the quantum realm or beyond. And it's unlucky to go wrong. Definitely. He didn't say the most important thing. Actually, it doesn't matter if the timeline is different, but the problem is that this Thor is too fierce. The big events on their timeline, none of them are here. All crises were crushed at the beginning, without any impact. Even. He felt that even if Maida came, he would have to kneel. This is probably the safest timeline in this universe. Hearing this explanation, Thor shakes his head. I don't accept this reason. Your incompetence and failure should not be paid by my world. Now, tell me how you travel through time. No matter what, he can't let the other time bombs do whatever they want on the timeline. 105 as good. 2013. Add. Although time gem can also be used to travel. But Thor doesn't want to do that. Time gem is too powerful. It will bring unintended consequences and the probability of paying the price is even greater. He knows very well that the fate of manipulating and playing with time is to be played by time. But the way of this group of people is different. They are not using time power, it is more like using other fields as pedals to jump. This is equivalent to jumping out of the timeline, but when they fell, they went wrong. But even so, he has to admit that the person who can discover and do this is an absolute genius. In a cell in a different space, hearing Thor's question, Captain America and the others fell silent. At the same time, they are still confused. Because, if they can't get the gems, even if the others succeed, this plan will be a failure no matter how you look at it. Thor was not surprised by the reactions of several people. A person who is willing to take risks for the sake of the world is a waste. 
if he said that, he would look down on the few people instead, however, he believes that these people will speak out, Thor waved his hand, and suddenly a golden timeline came from afar, with six infinite gems phantoms in different positions on it, the next second, he opened his mouth and said, have you ever thought about it, if the other people traveled through the same timeline then it is impossible for them to get the right thing at the wrong time, speaking, he clicked the space gem, just like there's no alien wars happening in New York right now, this gem doesn't show up, so you use your own history, how can you find my future, even, when they found out that there was an accident, they forcibly went to find the gem again, guess what kind of accident will happen, 1, speaking of Thor, tap lightly, except for the space and time gem, the phantoms of the other four gems appear to move, suddenly the originally smooth timeline began to shake, seeing this scene, the faces of the four of them all changed, at this moment, Thor walked step by step in front of Tony Stark, and said in a faint voice, a disaster has happened in your time, so dot 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 do you want to destroy this world too? From this point of view, what is the difference between you and Thanos, Avengers? These words are like a thunderbolt hitting the soul, and the faces of the four of them turned pale instantly. Yes, add, doing this, what is the difference between them and me? Why should the world pay for their mistakes? Will you kill them? Tony Stark made a hoarse voice. Thor didn't answer, but asked rhetorically. Did I kill you? Tony sat on the ground weakly all of a sudden, and said in a haggard voice, it is the quantum realm, where there is no concept of time, and everything is wrapped around it. The Captain American on the side was silent, and did not stop his teammates from continuing. As the most righteous person among the Avengers, he couldn't speak. At this time, follow up, I can recreate a time traveling machine. But you have to find the Pime particles yourself. Afterwards, I will take you to their time point in advance. 1. After speaking, he closed his eyes in pain. Thor looked at the man calmly. Not bad, Tony Stark, you didn't disappoint me. Trust me, you made the right choice otherwise the feeling of being torn apart will be miserable. Hearing this, the four of them trembled in unison. Obviously, this Thor has a way to obtain all information, even manipulating the mind like wonder. If you still don't want to spit out just now, ignore the crisis in this timeline. I'm afraid death will be a luxury by then. The other party is giving them a chance to survive. For a while, the eyes of the four people were extremely complicated. Dot. Brooklyn. A black SUV slowly parked in front of a house with a garden, and Nick Fury in a black coat came out from it there was no driver or companion. He walked straight through the garden, went to the door and knocked. Ten seconds later, a man with eyes opened the door, looked at Nick Fury expressionlessly, and said in a blunt tone, I thought the next time I saw you, it would be in the cemetery. Nick Fury shrugged, there will be a chance. Why, shall I go in for a drink? Speaking. He is about to go inside. Pim Hank directly blocked the door, frowning, since Janet left, I don't want to have anything to do with you. That is the last mission, I have already retired. Nick Fury said helplessly. Add, I am also sorry for what happened back then, everyone should thank the Hornet, but this time, I didn't come with a mission. Hearing this, Pime Hank was even more puzzled, and replied coldly, people like you don't have any friendship, don't say that you came to visit me. Oh, that hurts so much, Hank. Nick Fury made a sad face. Then you really came to see me. The sun really came out from the west. Well, that's not true. Get out. Pim Hank pulled his old face, and was about to close the door in anger. Nick Fury quickly blocked it with his foot, saying, don't worry, this time my coming here has nothing to do with S-H-I-E-L-D. Say, because of the face you once had, you only have one chance to say one sentence, Pim Hank said succinctly. And when the voice fell, he was suddenly surprised to see the other party showing a solemn expression that had never been seen before. The next second, Nick Fury said with a serious face, Today I am serving an existence that you cannot imagine. Trust me, don't refuse next time. Pim Hank has never seen this former comrade in arms and the current S-H-I-E-L-D chief speaks in this tone, he is not stupid, he immediately understood that the so-called existence is absolutely powerful to an outrageous level, what's up, he directly pulled Nick Fury into the room, and asked with a solemn face, Nick Fury didn't make a detour, and took out an as good gold coin, that existence needs a lot of pine particles, and the reward is this gold coin, you can understand that he can basically solve all the troubles you can think of, except for the unreliable wishes of being resurrected from the dead and becoming the strongest in the universe, dot 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 asking for flowers, Pim Hank frowned and said, it's too exaggerated, what if I want to rule the world, he doesn't believe there is such a powerful existence, Nick Fury said with a speechless face, he can do it, and it will be very easy, but I guess if you make a request, you will probably be slapped to death, hearing this affirmative tone, Pim Hank was shocked, he was just trying to shove, but he didn't expect that he could actually do it, but why was it shot to death? He asked the doubts in his heart, Nick Fury thought about it and decided to reveal a little information, because, 
He can be regarded as the Asgardian of this world. Stop hesitation Hank, you know I never lie. If you don't want this gold coin, we S-H-I-E-L-D are willing to pay 10 billion to buy it. Add. How much? Pime Hank shouted out at once. 100 slash Ed. Dot 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 oh oh. Vietnamese Dong? Who are you insulting? USD. Pim Hank is suddenly in a trance. 10 billion USD. This price is too exaggerated. Even if it is sold directly, you will be extremely tempted. After all, Pime particles are just consumables, not how to make them. For a while, he believed what Nick Fury said was true. After thinking about it, he couldn't help swallowing and asked, May I ask, what does he want so many Pime particles for? Nick Fury remembered that he had asked this question before. And that God didn't hide it, just said lightly, Guard our time. At this moment, after hearing what Nick Fury said, Pime Hank also fell silent. He has thought about what the other party is trying to get, or for the sake of experience. But I didn't expect the answer to be so shocking. At this time, Nick Fury suddenly said. Did you know, Hank, just yesterday, Earth civilization was almost terminated by aliens. At that time, he also shot. You don't know how desperate I was at the time, and how grateful I was afterwards. Fortunately, there is such a person on the Earth. Pime Hank takes a deep breath. Don't worry Fury. I will take out all the particles. If everything is really as you said, then this gold coin will be my glory. 1. Nick Fury nods. Don't worry, you will never regret it. 10 minutes later, he left with a suitcase and arrived at Holy Place, New York. Dot. Half a month later, under the inclination of all resources, the prince from another timeline is published through the machine area. On the at the moment platform, he stands opposite Thor, wearing a white battle suit. Dr. Banner and the three are still imprisoned in a different space. Only two people cross this time. And the first destination is, Asgard, 2013. 106 The Secret of the Quantum Realm, The Shocking Future Thor. Add. When the time travel machine starts, Thor presses the control button on the specially made suit. In an instant, he saw that everything in front of him was rapidly enlarged and disappeared, and then a strong color change appeared. This kind of process lasted less than a second, and then it seemed to break through a critical value and the world instantly turned into a cheese full of dense holes. Guided by the time setting of the equipment on the wrist, Thor and Tony fly into one of them. Intense light came on for a moment, and Thor felt strong time and space fluctuations at this moment. In a daze, he seems to have seen a miniature energy shield in this place out of the quadrant, and a giant city is located inside. This kind of light and shadow is only in a thousandth of a second, and then he entered the dimension of reality. Chatterham. Rocket, am I not mistaken? Just now there seems to be a phantom of a city flashing past. Fighting sword, I'm pretty sure not. Tony, it's incredible that there is a city in the quantum realm. Richard, not only that, the energy shield looks like the energy level will not be low. This is even an advanced civilization. If it is true, then this 387 will be an epoch-making discovery, and our world will be more terrifying than what we see. Supreme evolution, this is the real microcosm, which is even bigger than the real dimension. It is hard to imagine what the structure of life in the quantum realm is. It was unbearable. Tony, I'm more curious, how the life there will understand time. It must be amazing. Richard, time chaos? No time? Or do they control time? Or are they just slaves to time? But anyway, if it weren't for Thor's vision, we wouldn't have had a chance to know. In the previous time travel screen, it did not appear. TVA. Mobius breathed a sigh of relief when he saw that several technology madmen stopped discussing. At the same time, he also felt Thor's abnormality again. I don't know if it was fate, or the other party's big perception. He didn't expect the other party to see the Time Management Bureau. If this is really exposed, he can't imagine what the consequences will be. Earth Calendar, 2013. As good as the blue light flickers, Thor and Tony come from the quantum realm to the real dimension. In the magnificent corridor, Tony looked at the various huge amounts of golden buildings in the distance, and felt a sense of insignificance in his heart. Is this as good? That fellow Thor didn't even invite me to visit it even once. It's really grand and majestic. Tony just sighed, then immediately turned around, a little embarrassed and said, that, I didn't mean you. I know, no need to explain. Thor looked at the familiar scene in front of him, and said lightly, but if you are really friends, then he really did something wrong. As good is very hospitable especially the fine wine tributed by the elves of light. After drinking it, I will never forget it in this life. Tony pursed his lips, he doubted that Thor had drunk all the wine himself. However, he discovered a strange thing at this time, and said in a puzzled way, is there a small population in Asgard? Why didn't I see a single person? Thor didn't answer, but showed a strange look. I thought you were a smart person, why would you ask such a stupid question? Tony was taken aback for a moment, then widened his eyes and said in shock, you mean? That's right, Thor said lightly. Time is continuous, but I guess he won't come to see me, that might cause trouble. Quill, why can't they understand what they're talking about? Rocket, my brother has time to spend money to replace the brain. Red Star can do this surgery on the black market. Richard, what Thor means is that in the future, 
He restricted the Asgardians at this point in time, ensuring that no accidents would happen. Tony, it's the equivalent of a time clamp attack, almost invulnerable. Quill, I don't understand dot 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 but why can't it be that the people of Asgard are all traveling? Gamera, I didn't expect you to be a savage, you really hide your secrets. Quill, Asgard 2013 In the depths of the god prison, with a flash of blue light, two people in white combat uniforms appeared from the space. The nano uniform closes in the next second. A fat man with a messy beard, a scar on his right eye, a scruffy body, and a humanoid raccoon appear. Asgard, seeing Thor like this, the Queen of God, Frigga, froze for a moment. It wasn't obvious when he was wearing a full body white combat uniform before, but the at the moment uniform faded away, revealing the sloppy look underneath, like a homeless man who has lost his hope and soul. In an instant, an uncontrollable sadness appeared in the mother's heart. She doesn't know what Thor has gone through and the regiment will become like this. History Stark building. Loki felt a pain in his heart. He had never seen that man who was smiling silly all day, actually appear in this state. That is from the body to the mind, everything has been knocked down. Was my mother killed by the Dark Elves because of my stupidity? At this moment, deep self-blame appeared in his heart. How about it? Right Thor. Rocket looked around and asked. Thor tightened his red vest, and twitched his nose nervously. The place is right, but I don't know the time right? Big shit still has some tricks, it should be right. Rocket talks and walks cautiously along the passage with Thor. Quill, big shit, ha 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 ha. Deadpool, come on, this smells right. Tony, nasty raccoon, don't get caught by me, or I'll turn you into crispy noodles. Rocket, raccoon Nemo, your whole family is raccoons. Collector, funny, grumpy little thing. Supreme evolution, don't kid yourself. 89p13, you really are a raccoon. Rocket, impossible, how could I be a raccoon? I'm a higher life. Supreme evolution, no. You are just an animal I transformed, and I endowed you with wisdom. Rocket, no, you ruined everything for me. I'm not a raccoon. Quill, well, I smell a poor smell. Tony, sounds kind of evil and cruel. Ronan, huh, cruel? The famous sovereign empire, is the most highly evolved modified life. Eshor, do you feel cruel as queen? The chat room suddenly fell silent, but not until after. Eshor, number, a definite answer. But at this moment, Everyone who saw these words had different feelings in their hearts. Is this queen really grateful to her creator? There is silence in the prison. When the passage was about to end, Thor bent down and whispered to the rocket, the one in front is Loki's prison, be careful not to be seen by him. Rocket nodded, the supervisor was able to avoid a little bit. The next second, the two tiptoed forward. But after walking a few steps, Rocket straightened up and said speechlessly, Thor, you are stupid to eat mayonnaise, where is Loki? 1. Thor put down the vest covering his face looking at the empty shell with a puzzled expression. Loki was locked by him himself, how could there be no one? He felt something was wrong, and quickened his pace with fire. Soon, one person and one bear walked out of the divine prison, followed a small path, and came to the grand bedroom. But the further down the hallway Thor feels more and more wrong, and Rocket also begins to feel uneasy, because everything was so quiet, I didn't see a single person along the way. Thor, as that is usually so gloomy, the Rocket has climbed onto Thor's shoulder. Thor shook his head, a little 0.2 said nervously. No, although civilians can't come here, there are still maids, fairies and guards who appear here at ordinary times. Just then, footsteps suddenly appeared. The two breathed a sigh of relief, thinking that it was just a coincidence. But in the next second, an extremely familiar person walked out of the corner. Rocket suddenly shouted in shock, Tony, why are you here? Thor also looked shocked, shouldn't the other party go to 2012 to get the space and time gem? Tony didn't answer, just showing a wry smile. At this moment, another footstep sounded. A tall man came out from behind Tony, and said calmly, it's finally time for you guys. In a split second, Thor and the Rocket suddenly fell into petrification. 107 tell me, what a god are you? Add, Thor and Rocket looked like they had seen a ghost, and their heads instantly went into shutdown mode. Tony history Stark appeared unexpectedly. The result is followed by a Thor. What is happening? Accident is the biggest enemy of this operation. Rocket came back to his senses and asked with some anxiety, Tony didn't you take the space gem in 2012, why did you appear here, Tony smiled wryly, we are in the wrong timeline, this is not our past, future Thor suddenly tensed up, and asked in a panic, what do you mean, you didn't get the gem, gem, do you mean this, Thor slowly raised his hand, and a blue light suddenly floated up, yes, you got it, great, future Thor was overjoyed, in his opinion, it must be that Tony got help from another self, hearing this, Thor put down his hand, and the space gem disappeared immediately, he looked at himself in another timeline with disappointment, and said indifferently, 22. Too embarrassing, Thor Odinson. You seem to have failed not only yourself, but also the glory of Asgard. Future Thor is taken aback. Why does this look different from what he thought? He pointed his two index fingers back and forth at the other party and himself, almost fighting, and said with a confused face, Well, 
everyone is Thor, won't you help me, aren't you a good person, Thor's eyes changed again, as if looking at a mentally retarded, I still overestimated you, you look more stupid and naive than Liu Oji, at least you will never ask such stupid things, at this time Tony suppressed the discomfort in his heart, whispered, add, Thor, actually, he is actually catching you, we have gone to the wrong timeline, and if we are not careful, it will cause unimaginable damage to the world here, future Thor suddenly becomes excited, how is it possible, as long as we send back the gems intact, nothing will happen, she Stark, you betrayed us, the gloomy light in Tony's eyes flickered, and then he told all the problems of the timeline and the consequences, the rocket, who was also in anger, suddenly froze, as a scientist who can solve problems that even the highest evolution cannot solve, he understands that what Tony said is correct, Thor couldn't accept it, arcs burst out from his body, his eyes were red and he roared angrily, my mother is dead, Loki is dead, and my father is dead, but I failed to protect as good for them. And when the earth needed me, I didn't cut off Thanos's head directly in order to vent my hatred, and let him snap his fingers, killing half of the life in the universe, it's all my fault. Now the opportunity is in front of me, you let me give up. How could I give up? You say, how can I give up? Quill, this dude is a bit miserable. Mantis girl, dead father, dead mother, dead brother, as good people also died, and finally half of their lives died because of mistakes. It's hard to imagine. I'm afraid it's not like living in hell every day. Secret guest, no, living in hell is not so miserable. Tony, so it's because of this that it turned into such a ghost. Kong Su, how pitiful, tsk tsk, as good, the queen of god looked distressed. She never thought that her son would be so miserable in the future. And that kid Loki is gone. How does Thor persist in this future? Add, at this moment, she even hopes that her child is just an ordinary person. Seaside, Thor's face was pale and his hands were shaking involuntarily, he couldn't accept that future just by listening to it, b, he looked at his hands with regret in his eyes, as another self said, he is too weak, too stupid, at this time, after Thor roared in the future, he watched the tone of his other self suddenly weaken, and begged in a pleading tone, lend me the gem, I am Thor too, you have to trust me, I swear on my life, after using it, I will definitely send the gemstone back to its proper place and time, Thor's face is calm, but his voice is even colder, waste, if you can't even protect your parents and younger sister, why are you worthy of being a son and elder brother, if you can't even protect Asgard, how can you be a god, let the enemy succeed in order to vent your anger, in such a monstrous event, you can't even control your own emotions, and you are even more stupid, and now, do you want me to bear your failure, facing the questioning, Thor's face became paler and paler, but Tony retorted in a low voice, our Loki over there is a man not a sister, Thor glanced lightly, and the latter pursed his mouth, at this time, Thor's eyes became firm again in the future, and he said in a heavy voice, Add, no matter what, I must get the space gem today. You can't stop me, Thor. I have experienced so much pain, but also awakening true power. Today, as one of the rewards for taking away the gems, it is to let you understand your own strength instead of relying solely on Jolna. Chatram, Quill, where does this big brother have 513 confidence? Deadpool, no way, even I feel so ashamed, my toes are about to snap out. President Loki, looking forward to the expression of my old brother who I have never met for a while, it will be very exciting, Rocket, too bad, listening to another self's rhetoric words, Thor's eyes showed an incomprehensible look, understand your own strength, not relying on Jolna, does such a basic thing need to die to comprehend it, did you always play with Loki and Mud when you were young, I finally understand why you failed, Thor looked at the other party with pity, and took a step forward, in an instant, the sound of the broken mirror sounded, and the mirror space was formed. Next second, shape-shifting of the Golden Palace splitting, countless bricks are constantly receding towards the surroundings. Huge amounts of the island collapsed, revealing the brilliant cosmic starry sky below. At this time, one after another roared, and under the shocking eyes of the three of Tony, huge amounts of golden stones rose up one after another. Breath forms a grand dual field standing in the universe, Thor floats in midair. His eyes look down on another shocked self with a penetrating cold white light. His voice rolls like thunder and resounds throughout the arena. Now, tell me, Thor Odin Sen, what kind of god are you? Dot 108 Unimaginable shock, add, hearing this question that seems to shake even the soul, future Thor couldn't help but tremble in his heart. At this moment, I seem to see Odin, the former's god king, standing on the high place where everyone is looking at, angrily scolding himself for being a true god. Boom, a thunderstorm wakes up Thor in the future from his trance. No. How could the other party have the power of the father? He glared at his other self and yelled like he was yelling at his sister Hela who blinded his right eye, thunder, in an instant, several bolts of lightning fell from the sky and hit his body, the divine power turned into a storm armor, and the stormbreaker surrounded the electric current and was held in his hand, a powerful divine power erupts, turning into a gust of wind and spreading, this moment is full of Thor, Rocket has seen this scene before, 
but Tony has never seen Thor's new posture, at the moment showed surprise eyes. This is much stronger than when I was fighting Ultron. It's just that it's even more regrettable that the other party failed to cut off Thanos' head. Boom. The storm battle axe hit the ground hard, and an astonishing thunder flashed in an instant, and shocking thunder zoomed it in the sky. In the future Thor will issue an ultimatum, staring at the figure in midair. I love to say one last time, hand over the space gem. You can't understand the horror of thunder, it's the power of heaven, it's not comparable to mere spells. You go to the end, Master Thor. He he. Thor smiled lightly, as if he had heard the best joke in the world. He looked down, with a sneer on his face. First, spell is a powerful force left over from the fifth eternity, and you actually describe it as mere arrogant and stupid. Second, Thor quietly said, tell me what gave you the illusion that I'm chasing after the end? When the sound fell. The huge amounts of dark clouds rolled over the arena instantly, thunder roared, and dense lightning burst like tree branches to form a funnel-shaped thunderstorm gathered on Thor. The huge divine power erupted suddenly, and the whole space trembled violently. In the next second, all the thunderbolts seemed to melt to form plasma, and then they synthesized pieces of golden armor covering their strong body. Below, Tony and Rocket stared wide-eyed, feeling their scalps go numb. Compared to my teammates, this is the real Tanway. They even feel their souls trembling. Thor muttered to himself in disbelief watching this scene, this level of terrifying thunder. How is it possible? How could Thor's priesthood be so powerful? Even, he hasn't seen the opponent use any blessed weapons yet. But at this moment, a scene that shocked him even more appeared. The clouds in the sky turned crimson in an instant, and densely packed fire crows broke through the clouds, and rushed behind the other self like a rain of fire. Add, hunting sound, a fiery cloak of flame rises with the wind. This is, Vulcan. The future Thor turned pale, and couldn't help shouting out in shock. Vulcan, Rocket's back was instantly wet with sweat, and he couldn't understand, aren't you just Thor? Future Thor shakes his head, his eyes are full of shock. He also can't understand, however, it's not over yet. At this moment, two pure white rays of divine light entered his eyes. For a moment he felt that his soul was seen through and he couldn't stop trembling. This dot 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 what is this exclamation mark dot vertical bar? Future Thor asked blankly, as if feeling that the world was beginning to collapse at this moment. As an Ezeprotos, can't you even see this? Thor looked down at the other self who seemed to have lost his soul, and said in a majestic voice, this is dot 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 wisdom. It is the authority brought by the trial of the three gods. Or you don't even know what the trial of the three gods is. So, he is the god of thunder, fire and wisdom exclamation mark dot 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 for a moment Thor Thor was as stiff as a statue and all the previous confidence was annihilated at this moment. I only see myself clearly under the suffering, awakening the power of thunder. But the other party has passed the trial of the three gods. No one in Asgard has ever passed the trial of the three gods. What to compare? Why compare? I am afraid that I am as ridiculous as a joker in the eyes of the other party. At this moment, all future thoughts in Thor's mind are completely hopeless. Outside the light curtain, Thor gave a wry smile. The gap is too big. Even though the future self is already very powerful, there is still an insurmountable gap compared to Thor in another timeline. And this is even before the other party has shown powerful spells, element manipulation, and God's punishment flame. Level Godfather. That is the existence that I need to look up to. At this moment, he fully understands his despair in the light curtain. But at the moment, suddenly, a voice of extreme disappointment came from the sky. Thor middle dot Odinson, you don't even have the faith to fight. Thor's eyes are even colder. At this moment, so, you don't deserve the same name as me. It's even more unworthy to enter the soul castle after death. Boom. As if the soul was struck by lightning. Future Thor wakes up in an instant, with a look of enlightenment in his eyes. Yes, Ad. I'm Thor. You can fail, you can die, but you must not be afraid, and you must not shrink back. He looked at the figure exuding divine power in the sky, showing a hint of gratitude. Today, let yourself defend your dignity with blood and death. Anyway, there is nothing to lose. Fight, Thor. He holds up the Stormbreaker and roars. By the sea. Thor's body trembled. Deep shame appeared in the eyes, as well as a look like waking up from a dream. Boom. In the sky, a thunderbolt falls and turns into Mjolnir. Thor's eyes are no longer so indifferent when he looks at the man below, but a little more appreciative. It's not too late, and it's not too rich for the name. But, where's your Mjolnir? He asked aloud. In the future, Thor has a look of nostalgia on his face. Looking at the silver god in the sky, he touches and says, Crushed by Hela, goddess of death. He is our sister, when father dies. She will escape from the seal. Thor frowned slightly when he heard this. It's not because the opponent failed, but because I can't understand how Odin died as a god king. Father should have a lifespan of at least 500 years. Hearing this heartfelt voice, Loki and Thor feel guilty at the same time. If he didn't break the sleep in advance, his father's strength wouldn't drop too much now, and his lifespan would also be affected. Thor didn't ask why. Knowing too much about the future is not necessarily a good thing. Even if you try to avoid it, it will distort a more terrible disaster. All he has to do is to keep getting stronger, so strong that there will be no more accidents. So Thor, 
Are you ready to accept the fate of death? He lifts Mjolnir and points at his other self. Tony's face turned pale when he heard this. He remembered that the other party had promised him that he would not kill him. But just as he was about to speak to stop him, he was pulled by Rocket Raccoon. Tony looked down and saw Rocket shook his head slightly. Respect Thor, Tony. This is his battle and his destiny. Rocket said very seriously. Tony's face instantly became haggard, too. At this time, the future Thor laughs. I am coming. In an instant, a terrifying thunder erupted, and the ground trembled heavily. In the future, Thor brought lightning bolts and raised his battle axe to the figure in the sky. And in the sky, Thor turned into a flaming meteor, without the slightest thought of using spells, and hit the past without dodging or evading. In an instant, the thunder and the flame glided together. Boom. An astonishing thunder roar sounded in midair. Countless lightning and flames exploded in all directions, and the white shockwave visible to the naked eye seemed to push the world to spread. Rocket Raccoon on the ground climbed onto Tony's shoulder without any hesitation, and the nano armor on the latter's body quickly appeared, with a series of supports extending behind him, and an energy shield in front of him. Add. But the shock did not appear. A blue light glows around the two, and a cubic space barrier surrounds them. Fire, lightning, and terrifying impact hit it, without causing the slightest fluctuation. Seeing this, Rocket and Tony looked at each other and they both saw horror in each other's eyes. While fighting, he can instantly cast spells and take care of the two of them. What a terrifying power this Thor possesses. Moreover, Tony found that when the opponent fought with Thor on his side, it seemed that he was only using divine power. However, he doesn't think this is looking down on him, but another kind of respect. Boom. The ground shakes violently. The two turned their heads and saw that Thor Thor was sunken on the ground, surrounded by waves of gravel that were shaken and shattered by the force. But in the next second, the other party roared and summoned thunderbolts to smash into the air. However, an amazing scene appeared. Thor held Mjolnir high in the sky, and all the falling thunders not only did not cause any damage, but gathered on it to emit a dazzling burst of white light. Boom! A white cloud of sound barrier erupted instantly, and Thor held the hammer that gathered thunder, and it fell like a meteor. On the ground, the future Thor perception felt a strong sense of palpitation, and a thunderstorm erupted in his eyes instantly. A bang! Future Thor stands upright, holding the storm axe in both hands roaring and spinning his body, and slashes towards the sky. For a moment, Erna and the battle axe collide again, but there is no evenly matched scene. The future Thor is like a leaf, without any hindrance, falling into the earth with a silvery light. Suddenly, the thunder and the sun rose and exploded, and then a huge wave, of King's out, made of gravel was set off, rushing towards the surroundings as if covering the sky and covering the sun. Tony and Rocket felt the ground tremble violently, like an earthquake of magnitude 10. After more than 10 seconds, everything was quiet. At this time, the space barrier was unfolded, and the two saw a huge pit appearing hundreds of meters away, and their own Thor was lying in it. The battle armor is broken, there are wounds all over the body, and blood is spitting out of the mouth. It seems that I will die at any time. The other Thor, with the flapping cloak of flames behind him, is floating calmly in midair. The gap is too big, it is impossible to win. At this moment the two couldn't help thinking at the same time. At this moment, Thor in the pit suddenly moved. He was trembling, leaning on the Stormbreaker to stand up little by little, looking at the sky covered in blood. Thor sees neither joy nor sorrow in his eyes. Tilda can you still stand up? In this case, let me show you what despair is. 111. Boom. Golden divine power erupted from him like red flames. In the next second, a huge lightning pillar that makes the scalp tingle with fear descends from the sky. At the same time, the clouds split and leaked red wounds, and countless flames turned into waterfalls and fell. Then, unbelievable, even extremely frightened and shocking eyes of Tony and Rocket, a thousand meter giant with thunder as his bones and flames as his flesh and blood appeared. He looked down, with an unimaginable sense of oppression, as if looking at a lifeless ant that offends the gods and gods, and is about to bring down the most terrifying divine punishment. Tale 109 Voma Stars 2014. Add. This is too exaggerated. At this moment Tony suddenly realized that what he saw before was just the tip of the iceberg. This man has power far beyond all the Avengers. He used to think that Asgard was just some powerful aliens, false gods. But now, looking at the shocking scene in front of him, he finally understood that it wasn't the Asgardians who were false gods, but what he saw was a false god. The flame and thunder giant in front of me, who seems to have stepped out of a myth, is undoubtedly a god. Suddenly, Tony shuddered and came back to his senses. He has no more hesitation, looking at the distance and yelling crazily. Give up, Thor, otherwise you will die, Asgard still needs you. Future Thor heard the shout, but did not respond. He looks up, looking at the giant who represents unimaginably huge divine power and the unparalleled use of the essence of divine power. The eyes are filled with shock, emotion, and determination to die. So this is the true power of the Asgard gods? Comma, as expected, I'm still too bad. But, if you can die under this kind of power, you can die without regrets. The next second. He endured the severe pain, stood up straight, 
and slowly raised his battle axe at the flame giant. He will die standing up! Exclamation mark. That's the sound of space vibrating. 320. Tony and the rocket saw the huge fist like a burning meteorite break through the air, and hit Thor with a scalp numbing roar. As the distance gets closer, the fist condensed by the flames becomes more and more obvious, and the huge amounts of texture become clearer. At first glance, my whole heart is trembling, I feel that I am so small, like dust. Boom. The distance of thousands of meters is reached in a blink of an eye. Add, in the space barrier, one person and one bear only felt a violent shock on the ground, and the next moment, the monstrous flames covered the sky and swallowed everything. Outside the barrier, the sea turned completely crimson red, and even appeared in an ionized state. A feeling of palpitation appeared in Tony's heart. He has no doubt that his nano armor cannot resist the high temperature outside. The rocket on the side couldn't help trembling even more. At this moment, he felt as if he had fallen into the high temperature, high pressure sun, and would be evaporated by the heat at any time. After tens of seconds, the flame gradually dissipated. At this time, the sound of the mirror shattering sounded again and Tony and Rocket found that the surrounding space had returned to the previous corridor again. Not far away, that terrifying man just stood there calmly, unable to see that he had just used such a powerful force. Seeing this, Tony suddenly felt something in his heart. I'm afraid that the power that made me despair just now was just a random blow from the opponent. At this time, the Rocket shouted out, Thor, the space barrier has disappeared. The raccoon ran over quickly with hands and feet. After approaching, he found that Thor was lying on the ground covered in blood, his eyes turned red as if seeing his former partner die in front of him again. Ho! Oh, Rocket gritted his teeth, turned his head and looked angrily at the calm standing there, with a familiar face that didn't matter. At this moment, Tony, who also ran over, cheered in surprise. Rocket, you are is not dead. The raccoon stopped baring its teeth immediately, and quickly lay down on Thor's chest. Sure enough, when I heard a faint heart beat, I immediately breathed a sigh of relief. When anger disappears, fear follows. The next second, it's hard to imagine an embarrassed, terrified sneer on a raccoon's face. Thor doesn't care. Get angry with a raccoon, that's too shameful. Also, it is also very good for another self to have this kind of friend. At this moment Tony let out a long sigh of relief. I thought you would really kill him. The fat man who asked for the stars on the ground said lightly, Add, it's not bad, let him live. Hearing this, Tony suddenly asked, What would you do if he surrendered just now? Kill him. Thor didn't have the slightest hesitation and replied succinctly. He will not allow a real waste to continue to use the name Thor Odinson to live. Tony trembled in his heart, knowing that the other party has no need to lie. If Thor surrenders, he will really die. Don't waste time, we should go to the next stop. Thor said. Tony nods, injects more pine particles into the rocket and Thor's wrist, then changes the time coordinates and address. The next second, with six light blue light spots flickering, the corridor was empty again. Dot. Mogla planet said, 2014, Thor and the others flickered and appeared like phantoms, surrounded by dilapidated scenes, the sky couldn't see the sun, it was purple and drowsy, at this moment, the rocket opened his mouth and said, in a few minutes, Nebula and Hawkeye will appear here, afterwards, they will be divided into two teams, one team will stay here, and the other team will go to get the soul gem, Thor nodded, but didn't ask for information about the gem, first, this may change the future, secondly, it is impossible for him to bring the gem of the future back to the past, as there will be a very high probability of terrible things happening. However, an accident occurred a few minutes later. The expected four people did not appear. Thor looked at Tony Stark, frowned and asked, Is the time wrong, or the place wrong? Being stared at by the realize, Tony broke out in a cold sweat, and quickly explained, Nothing is wrong. Friday recorded the space-time coordinates at that time. Thor didn't speak, but closed his eyes and spread his arms. The next second, a huge amount of magic circle appeared on the ground and a gust of wind spread in all directions. A few seconds later, Thor opens his eyes, add, not long ago, a spaceship took off here, did they enter, take off, the rocket immediately guessed, that should be Clint and Natasha Romanoff, it is planned that they will drive my spaceship to find the soul gem on volume star after traveling through time, just why there is a time disorder, and only the two of them, Tony shook his head, also don't know why, after all, he even jumped to the wrong timeline, Thor is not concerned about this now, arresting the other two is the key point. Do you know the star map coordinates of the Vomer star ball? He asked, looking at Rocket Raccoon. The latter nodded, one, knowing is knowing, but we can't go there without a spaceship. After Tony heard it, he immediately suggested, we can go back to New York first, replenish prime particles, and travel ahead of schedule again. It is absolutely possible to stop them before the wrong time. Thor shakes his head, it doesn't need to be so complicated, just give me the star map coordinates of the Vomer star ball. Rocket dared not refuse, took out a black box with a file size of palm clicked a few times, and projected a thumbnail of the center galaxy, and then continued to zoom in and out, 
showing more detailed planet system coordinates. Thor took a look, his eyes glowed with pure white light. The next second, blue particles erupted from him, enveloping everyone. Superdimensional teleportation. Kamataj's teleportation is limited by the need to know the destination screen, but superdimensional teleportation is not included. This is the ability to teleport across latitudes. The next second, when all the blue particles dissipate, Rocket Raccoon and Tony find that the surrounding environment has changed drastically. They are standing on a mountain with only brown rocks, and snowflakes are constantly floating in the sky. One person and one bear suddenly understood that they had changed planets, and came to vomit star from Morgra in a second. Rocket and Tony looked at each other, and both saw the shock in each other's eyes. No wonder the other party said that there is no need to be so complicated. Is there anything this man can't do? Just then, a hoarse voice suddenly came from the darkness. Welcome. Rocket was so frightened that Tony immediately put on the nano armor and condensed Tansy cannon. One bear and one turned their heads to look warily. I saw a black mist constantly spreading from his body, like a ghostly shadow floating in the shadows. 110 Red Skull with a broken mind. Add. It is so desolate, there is a ghost-like thing on a planet that should not seem to have life, which makes Rocket and Tony tense up. Sure enough, the planet where Soul Gem is located cannot be simple. However, looking at the calm-faced boss beside him, each of them relaxed a lot. At this time, the ghost came out from the darkness, revealing a horrible face with no skin, bare red flesh and blood. Steve Rogers, how is this? It's Red Skull. Tony, Captain, you know this guy? Quill, the distance between Vomastar and the Earth is close to tens of millions of light years, are you mistaken? Steve, absolutely not. I slept in the ice because of him, even if he turned to ashes, I would know him. Rhodes, I've always had a question. Captain, why didn't you jump out of the plane when it was about to fall? Steve, R. now that I think about it, he was surrounded by the Tesseract-inspired energy, I thought he was melted. So it seems that he was teleported to the Vomer Star Ball at that time. Rhodes, why don't you jump off the plane? Steve, it's just over 90 years later, how did he survive? Rhodes, Captain, why don't you jump off the plane? Steve, looks like the teleportation wasn't random. The Tesseract teleported him to the Soul Gems location on purpose. Just why? Rhodes, why do you Captain? Steve. I forgot, Rhodes, then I'm fine, Tony, it seems to drive a captain crazy, only a colonel is needed, but captain, your analysis should be correct, there must be a reason why Red Skull is on Vomis Star, Red Skull is covered in black mist all over, and said faintly, son of Tony History Stark, son of Thor Odin Mori, so dot 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 so, as he spoke, he suddenly got stuck, because the one lying on the ground is still Thor, who are you, Tony asked nervously, I am the guide who leads everyone to Soul Gem, as for you dot 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 it doesn't matter, Come with me. Red Skull took a meaningful look at several people, nodded slightly, as if he understood everything, then turned and walked towards the mountain peak. While walking, he didn't look back, and said in a tone of anticipation, Your pursuit is at hand, accompanied by your fear. Add, if you want to get it, you must lose your true love. But while talking, he got stuck again. Red Skull, who didn't hear the footsteps, turned around suspiciously, and saw the human and the raccoon standing the motionless, looking at him with strange eyes. He was stunned immediately and then asked in puzzlement, um, aren't you guys following? Thor said lightly, when did we say we were going to get the soul gem? Red Skull's brain crashed instantly, and after a second, he couldn't understand, no dot 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 don't take gems, then why do you come to the Vomis Star Ball? Thor didn't speak, but his eyes suddenly became much colder, having completely changed its life form, the Red Skull protected by the soul gem felt an unstoppable palpitation in an instant, that is the taste he has completely forgotten from the fear of death. You please. Red Skull bowed his head without any hesitation, and then quickly retreated into the shadows, for fear of being killed if he ran too late. It wasn't until he saw that the other party didn't make any moves that he breathed a sigh of relief. I thought I could have some fun today and be freed from the bondage of gems, but I almost lost my life. What a horror, when did such a pervert appear in the Ezeprotos? Not far away, Wang Ni's benefit. Not to mention, this gem is Gideon is quite polite. At this moment, he suddenly heard the sound of the mirror shattering from beside him. The next second, the surrounding space surges with shape-shifting. The temperature rises to a suitable temperature, and a luxurious Asgard queen appears in the blink of an eye. Thor sat down casually, then looked at the one person and the bear who couldn't let go and said indifferently, they should arrive for a while, let's rest here first, otherwise the two of you are too fragile to stay on this kind of planet for a long time. Speaking, he lightly tapped the table, and suddenly several golden portals appeared, from which wine and fruits fell. It is also a specialty of Asgard. Thor took a jug of fruit wine casually, and then summoned a magic book exuding powerful aura fluctuations and looked at it silently, ignoring the stunned man bear. Countless people outside the light curtain watched with envy. Deadpool, I would call this mirror space the strongest spell. Quill, it's okay, it's really comfortable to learn. Even the spaceship doesn't need to find a suitable life planet to dock. Magician Wang, then you think too much. Although there are not many magicians who knows this spell, 
There are some, add, but those who can change the space at will, I am afraid that only a few people can do it. Baron Mordo, that's right. The prerequisite for enjoying is being strong. Without the power of Thor, you'd better not daydream. After the shock, Tony is not out of touch at all, especially the rockets. Under the premise of not disturbing Thor, facing all kinds of delicacies and fruits that I have never tasted before, I almost feel overwhelmed. Outside the mirror space, Red Skull, who stayed in the dark and didn't dare to move, suddenly heard a crackling sound, and then saw that terrifying strong man disappearing with others in an instant. It's like coming to this planet suddenly. He immediately breathed a sigh of relief. Although he came and left inexplicably, at least he is safe. He shook his head, only then did he dare to show disappointment. After finally waiting for someone to come, I almost died. At this moment, he couldn't help but feel resentment in his heart. Why wasn't the soldier sent back then? Otherwise he would have ruled the earth with ease. Dot dot task for flowers. In the end, he could only sigh helplessly, and once again hid in the darkness, waiting for the person looking for Soul Gem who would appear at an unknown time. Several hours pass, in the shadows, Red Skull suddenly opened his eyes, revealing surprise. He got a perception that someone is coming. Today is indeed my lucky person. Red Skull was delighted in his heart, waiting silently in the dark. Dot. It's really cold, I guess the raccoons don't need to climb the mountain. Natasha Romanoff looked at the top of the mountain and there was still a distance away, and couldn't help but say something. Clint panted heavily, laughed, strictly speaking, it's not a raccoon. Rocket outside the light curtain nodded in agreement. As expected of an archery player, he has a bit of eyesight. Good. It doesn't matter, it eats garbage anyway. Natasha Romanoff shrugged. Oh, that might really be a raccoon. Hawkeye had a suddenly realized expression on his face. Rocket, Falk, you two are earthlings right? Add, you are dead. I'll put trash in your mouths. Quill, but you really are a raccoon. Rocket, you are dead too. I want to accept your reward. Quill, HMPH, find me if you can. Outside the light curtain, the rocket almost exploded with anger. He swears that when the light curtain is over, he will definitely catch this bitch and send him to Sovereign's shit. Here, Natasha Romanoff and Hawkeye made a joke to dispel the tension. But at this moment, a penetrating voice suddenly came from the shadow a few meters away from them. Welcome. The two are on alert instantly, take out their weapons and aim. The next second, Red Skull slowly floated out from the inside, and said slowly in a hoarse voice, Natasha Romanoff, Ivan's daughter, Clint dot 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 son of Edith, who are you? Natasha Romanoff pointed at the gun, ready to pull the trigger at any moment. Red Skull made an inscrutable expression, and said quietly, I am the guide who leads everyone to Soul Gem. Natasha Romanoff said coldly, that's right, tell us the location, and we will listen to the one. Red Skull suddenly reveals a meaningful smile. Oh dear, if only it were that easy. Your pursuits are near at hand, and your fears are with them. 1. If you want to get it, you must. Click. At this moment, the familiar sound of broken mirror appeared again. The next second, Thor's calm voice sounded. Needless to say, they don't take Soul Gem either. Red Skull's expression is dull. If there is a lightning strike. At this moment, looking at the boss who stepped out of the space at will, there is only one thought in his broken heart. Hateful. This guy definitely did it on purpose. Billion. 111. Beginning of time. 2014. Thanos invasion. Add. At the moment the most shocking thing is not Red Skull. Black Widow and Hawkeye look at Tony and the others who seem to have come out of a different space with bewildered faces. Especially when I saw a Thor who was upside down in a standing one, my brain would burn out. Who can tell them what happened? But at this moment, the two heard the words from Thor's mouth. Don't take Soul Gem. Who are you? Natasha Romanoff's expression changed instantly, and he aimed the gun at the past without any hesitation, and Hawkeye raised the knife at the same time. Tony's expression changed drastically, but before he could open his mouth, he saw the pistol and the dagger instantly melted into molten iron. Then the hands and feet of the two were suddenly closed, as if they were firmly locked by invisible ropes, and they were directly hung upside down in the air. At this moment, Black Widow and Hawkeye made whining sounds, completely speechless, and their eyes were full of horror. If you can't even resist, you will be caught in an instant. Who is this man who looks exactly like Thor? Why do you want to attack the 427 and them? At this time, Thor looked at Red Skull with a stunned expression, and said lightly. Do you have anything else to say? Red Skull woke up like a dream, and immediately showed a smile scarier than crying, and said with a sneer. No, no, continue. He really wanted to protest. But how dare he, a boss who plays with space at will, can't be provoked, can't be provoked. And this scene fell in the eyes of Black Widow and Hawkeye, and I felt a tingling feeling in my scalp. The gem is Gideon who stands tall and makes the two feel uneasy. At the moment you are so humble in front of this man. Who the hell is this? There are also Rocket and Tony who are following. These two imposters are like a servant and don't fart a single one. At this moment, the two heard the Thor speak. She Stark, modify the space-time coordinates of the two of them. We can go back, Tony said with a worried face. 
but Nebula and Rhodes haven't been found yet. Ad, don't go back to Morag, are you waiting? Thor shakes his head slightly. I suspect the timeline they both jumped into is correct, or trapped somewhere. Let's go back first. Tony was worried. He didn't say anything, and followed the instructions to modify the coordinates, tens of seconds later, as the blue light spots flickered and disappeared. The entire Panma planet returned to silence again. Snowflakes are falling. Red Skull stood where he was, maintaining a humble posture. After a few minutes passed, after confirming that the other party had left, his expression suddenly changed, and he cursed. Fuck. Obviously I can be freed today, but if I don't take the Lingbao stone myself, I won't let others take it. What a goddamn god, he is the only one who is an evil dictator. Hydra is more democratic than you, thought Odin Sen. I wish you a sudden death today, and Ragnarok in Asgard tomorrow. Even at the end, Red Skull yelled a few times unwillingly. This makes me feel much better. But, at this time, an extremely familiar indifferent voice suddenly sounded behind him. I didn't expect you to be so angry and unwilling. Red Skull was suddenly struck by lightning. His eyes widened and his pupils trembled. He turned his head a little bit, and was horrified to find that the other party at the moment who had just left was standing not far behind him. Although I can't understand it, but, plop, this doesn't affect Red Skull in the slightest. He knelt down directly, trembling all over his body and said, Great God of fire, thunder and wisdom. Please forgive my sins. 1. It was my brain that was stupid just now, and my humble soul was stimulated. What I said was just an inadvertent mistake. It was definitely not intentional. The face of the visitor was calm, without anger or pity, he just said lightly, Ad, lead the way, I'm going to get the soul gem. Red Skull was overjoyed immediately, but immediately flattered him, My lord, if you want to obtain soul gem, you must exchange it with the soul of your loved one. So, you also want to. He didn't finish, but the meaning is very clear. However, the visitor shook his head, showing a meaningful smile and said, That is for others. For me, just having a soul connected to soul gem is enough. After all, this is not the first time you say yes. Dot 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 Mr. John Schmidt. Red Skull was stunned for a moment, but immediately showed a frightened face, and his body suddenly turned into a cloud of black mist and was about to run away. However, several crimson chains drilled out of the void at this time, piercing through the black mist with ease, and tightly locking the reappeared Red Skull. I don't know how long after, a scream can be heard in the Vomer Star Ball. Countless people outside the light curtain felt their hearts tense. Anyone who isn't a fool can tell that this is presumably a future thought to get the soul gem. That was two years later, but it was only a few minutes for Red Skull. As a result, this guy couldn't control his mouth, and finally died a miserable death. But it can be regarded as a relief, but the way may be a little different. TVA. Mobius frowned. He doesn't care if Red Skull lives or dies. At the moment it's Thor's words that don't make sense. It's not the first time after all. This sentence made him suddenly have a bad feeling. I just don't know what happened. Blue light flashes, Thor read Al. Back in 2012, a few hours later, in the basement of Holy Place in New York, all the traversers of the heterotopic timeline put on white uniforms, waiting for Tony to adjust the original space-time coordinates. At the moment, everyone's eyes are full of despair visible to the naked eye, especially the future Thor who wakes up, his eyes have no light at all. It's not even as good as the fat man who was huddled in a small shabby house all day long and drugged with game beer. Add, but the matter has come to this point. Failure is a foregone conclusion. As Tony pressed the switch, tens of thousands of original films above the basement began to gather. The next second, huge amounts of gravity appear, and everyone rapidly shrinks and enters the quantum channel, returning to the original time point. At the moment everyone is standing on the round platform, just like before. At this time, Rhodes' happy voice sounded. Everyone, you all got the gems right? As he spoke, he raised his hand excitedly, and he held the cosmic spirit ball containing the power gem. However, after Rhodes finished speaking, he saw that everyone except Nebula looked very decadent. He was suddenly shocked, and said uneasy, you failed? Seeing that no one answered, Captain America nodded with a sigh, and said in a low tone, we went to the wrong timeline and almost caused a catastrophe. Even he was not in the mood to say more at this moment, and everyone left the hall one after another. Rode was a little confused for a while, and he didn't know what to do with the cosmic spirit ball. Send it back now, 5.7. Fortunately, at this time, Xinian said to put it in her place first, and then make a decision after everyone has a meeting. Rode nodded, not suspicious, and quickly chased him out. He wants to ask Tony what happened to Stark. In the hall, only Xinian was left for a while. She showed a sneer, then quickly shape-shifted her five fingers, then inserted into the quantum machine, and began to invade. Quill, what is she doing here? I laughed so hard that my heart shuddered. Professor Rex, this doesn't seem to be the nebula before, I can feel that the eyes have completely changed. Baron Mordo, since Charles said so, it must be replaced. Tony, broken. This is nebula from the past. Rhodes actually failed. King Magician, I have an ominous premonition. At this moment, nebula has completed the invasion. A line of writing suddenly appeared on the screen. 
The channel is open. Time starting point, 2014, 112 Thor, please save mankind. Add quantum channel opened. The next second, a silver gray particle flew out of the unfolded field. After leaving the quantum channel, it suddenly became bigger, destroyed all the original films, broke through the roof and flew into the sky. In the Avengers base, Tony and others who had just left for a few minutes looked all over because of the loud noise, and suddenly saw a huge spaceship suspended in the air. Thor's eyes were bloodshot. All of a sudden, his eyes were tearing apart, and he roared, Holy place number two. Everyone heard his roar of anger and hatred at this moment. In response, dozens of blue energy shells slanted down in the sky. Boom boom boom. In an instant, terrifying flames rose from the ground, and the violent impact and explosion destroyed everything visible to the naked eye. When the flames disappeared and the dust fell, the entire the Avengers base has been completely turned into ruins. The casualties of the heroes are unknown. Holy place number two projected a blue beam of light and landed on the ground, and the next moment, Dark Tycoon, who was wearing a golden armor and holding double blades of destruction, slowly walked out of it. His eyes are cold, and he has an instinctively terrifying aura. Inside the Stark building, Tony looked at the light curtain and clenched his fists tightly. Is this the most terrifying enemy in the future? Just standing there. He seemed to see a mountain of corpses and sea of blood. It's hard to imagine how many lives the opponent killed. How can such a person be kind? Sitting still 24 is definitely a dead end. In his opinion, the only way is to take the initiative to kill the opponent. I must become stronger, instead of being powerless like the future. At this time, he walked out of the ruins of the nebula, came to Thanos and knelt down on one knee, and offered the cosmic spirit ball. Father, they only collected power gems. Thanos took the spirit ball and said in surprise, only one? Why? In his opinion. This group of people knows the historical location of all gems, there should not be only one. Xing Yun shook his head and said, they didn't explain too much, they just said they jumped the wrong timeline. Thanos frowned slightly, timeline. I came to the future from the past, so what will happen to the original timeline? Add, that machine has been destroyed, and it is impossible for him to go back to the past. But he doesn't care right away. All he has to do is to prevent accidents from appearing. The future self has already done half of it. Now it's time for me to really. It's just that he originally wanted to use the gems collected by these Avengers to kill all life and then reshape the universe, but now this wish is impossible to realize. But even so, he will take back his kindness to the Earth. This planet, all remaining human beings will die due to the self-righteousness of the Western Avengers. Dot. Among the ruins, Tony, covered in nano-armor, holds a shield, wakes up Captain America, and panting heavily, if you lose the shield again. I won't give it to you. This dot 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 what's going on? Captain America struggled to get up from the ground, looked at the tragic situation around him and said incomprehensibly. Tony's A's showed a hint of pain, and his voice was low. If you play with time, time will play with you. This is the truth. Get up, the real enemy is still outside. As he spoke, he pulled up Captain America and walked towards the top of the ruins. When they walked to the half-collapsed exit, the two saw Thor's expressionless face looking outside with cold eyes. Following their eyes, they saw the source of all the evil. Thanos, destroyer of half of life in the universe. Boom. A thunderbolt fell from the sky, turned into a stormbreaker and was held by Thor. There was a murderous look in his eyes that seemed to have turned into reality, and he said ferociously, everyone, we can no longer save the future, but we can kill the past. We are the Avengers. Today, there is death but no life. Thanos, die. Boom. Thor turned into a bolt of lightning and attacked first. Captain America and Iron Man follow. Thanos also wields the twin blades of destruction stronger than vibranium. Add, for a moment, the energy of thunder and bursts shines, and the huge amounts of collision vibration of weapons continue to roar. Thor didn't know whether it was due to his obsession or anger. He moved to chop off Thanos' head, but it couldn't cause any damage at all. Instead he was knocked down to the ground. While Iron Man's armor is ever-changing, whether it's changing slashes or high-energy energy cannons, even Thanos' golden armor can't be broken. On the contrary, Captain America, relying on vibranium shield and unimaginable will, actually caused an effective attack. However, as Iron Man was knocked back and passed out, this situation suddenly became precarious. Thanos wields the twin blades of destruction, hits one point continuously, and cuts the shield in half after several violent impacts. At this moment, a sound of fury resounded. Dr. Green broke through the ruins and jumped away throwing it like a cannonball towards me. Seeing this, Thanos put his weapon on the ground, let out a grinning grin, waved his fist and punched him. Boom. In an instant, there was a loud noise, and the impact visible to the naked eye exploded. Dr. Green screamed in pain, and took a few steps back uncontrollably. And Thanos has followed up, followed by a set of ruthless blows. The latter couldn't resist at all, and finally was knocked down by a punch and couldn't stand up. Emil Bronsky, abomination, that's impossible, how could the Hulk be so weak? Quill. Do you have any misunderstanding about being weak? It failed, but it was Thanos. Natasha Romanoff, it is indeed a lot weaker. You can't imagine how powerful the real Hulk will be when he is angry. Loki, he he, 
You meant to say horror, Banner, it's okay, Natasha Romanoff, Ross, maybe that's the price of sanity, this body is clearly still controlled by Dr. Banner, Tony, so where did the hull go, Nick Fury, maybe we'll know when the blue light curtain comes on, at this moment, the ground shakes for a while, the next second, the nearly 100 meter tall ant man broke through the ground, stepping on Thanos with a strong sense of oppression, however, at this time, the energy bombardment of number two holy place road, the huge amounts of Ant-Man became a living target, and he returned it instantly before his footsteps fell. However, even so, Ant-Man was completely defenseless under the impact of the violent explosion, and was directly buried in the soil and passed out. However, under the violent shock, Tony woke up. Thanos grinned ferociously, and was about to go over and kill this desperate Iron Man. But at this time, Thor rushed over again like crazy. Captain America picks up the shield that is only half left, to help, and yells at Tony at the same time didn't contact Carol. Where is she? Friday's voice instantly rang in my ears, Tony responded angrily, add, she said that she is helping other planets, and is rushing back with all her strength. FK it. Steve Roger couldn't help but swear for the first time, when she comes back, the Earth will be dead. Boom. At this time, another sweeping strike with terrifying power, Thor and Captain America were blown away by spraying directly from their mouths. A deep regret appears in Thor's eyes at this moment. If you haven't been decadent these years, how could you be so weak? And going into battle with an injury, the original strength can't be used at all. Oh one seven if you don't go to the wrong timeline. Suddenly his eyes lit up, what did he think of? Immediately yells at Iron Man, Tony. There is another time machine on my side, traveling through the time we left and it has definitely not been turned off yet. Go and beg him. That is our last hope. Tony is the only one who can manipulate the coordinates, and the other party must do it. Thanos heard this, and rushed towards Vanish Stark without any hesitation. Although I can't understand what Thor is saying, it is impossible for these people's plan to succeed. But at this time, Captain America and Thor completely disregarded their injured bodies and charged again, desperate to buy time. Tony took off his battle armor the moment he heard the words and turned to cover the white battle uniform. In the past, if Thanos came ten minutes later, he would have unloaded his equipment. Perhaps this is the last hope brought by fate. At this moment, he is frantically manipulating the watch and continuously inputting commands. At this time, another scream came. Thanos kicked Thor flying, pushed Captain America away, and rushed out with a roar like a cannonball. He raised the twin blades of destruction high, and with unimaginable power, he slashed at the insects that were getting closer and closer. But within this thousandth of a second, the word set successfully appeared, and Tony instantly shrank into a speck of light and disappeared. Then, 2012, New York Holy Place. Just when Thor was about to turn off the machine completely, he saw Tony Stark, who had just left for less than a second, appear on the round platform and fell to the ground all of a sudden. The next second, the mask was undone, and an almost pleading voice sounded, Thor, please save mankind. Dot, 113 who do you want to kill? Add, underground of Holy Place, New York. Thor didn't respond just frowning and staring at the extremely embarrassed Tony Stark, blood was flowing from the forehead, and there were wounds on both sides, which were mixed with dirt to form scar-like marks, the whole body armor is damaged, even the fragile body underneath has been exposed, and it cannot be completely covered, he didn't understand why this happened, after all, according to what the other party said, the disaster has happened for five years, and the enemy has long since died, what happened again, Thor asked, he is not a nanny, the crisis in another world is the responsibility of this group of people. Tony stands up staggeringly, with deep regret in his tone. It's Thanos. Rodent Nebula went to the correct history. He was able to get back the power gem, but let the past Thanos also follow back. Now he wants to slaughter all life on Earth. Thor sneers. This is what happens when you play with time. Tony Stark, you should have figured it out a long time ago. I won't help you. Go back and die for your mistakes, with all human beings. Time is too mysterious. Although he can go to save humans in another timeline. The consequences after that are unimaginable, that may transfer the crisis to your own timeline. Hearing this, Tony's face showed a look of withering for a moment, and he was almost hit by despair. He fell to the ground all of a sudden, and muttered to himself in a daze, I knew it was a mistake to hand over the time gem. Strange, this is not the one. What did you say? Thor frowned suddenly, it was Strange who handed over the time gem, instead of snatching it after he was killed. Tony looked up and said, it's the gem. He gave an exchange for my life. I was very angry at the time but after creating the quantum machine, I thought it was the only one to win out of 14 million endings. I ask you to shake your head, looking at it now, obviously not. But Thor fell into deep thought when he heard this, not to mention that the other party is Ancient One's fancy successor. Sorcerer Supreme's responsibility is to guard the original Stone of Time, and will never hand over the stone just to save an Iron Man. The other party definitely saw something. Add, at this time Tony also felt something, and suddenly raised his head to look at Thor. 
He must have seen you, don't say it, Thor interrupted directly with a tone that cannot be questioned. Tony nodded vigorously immediately, with hope in his eyes again. Quill, why can't it be said? Isn't it possible that Strange saw this scene? Magician Wang, because once you say it, the correct direction of fate will be changed instead. This is the mysterious life of time, Baron Mordo, huh, as a gem as Gideon, but using gems to peek into the future. Sure enough, the Stranges of all universes represent disasters. Tony, maybe that's the only right choice. Sorcerer Supreme, you are too subjective. Baron Mordo, HMPH, you will regret it one day. Thor is lost in thought. He is now thinking about a question. Why Strange Over that can be sure that he will save him? If he refuses, then he undoubtedly killed the other half of humanity. So, Thor narrows his eyes slightly. Perhaps, this Strange must have a reason that he cannot refuse, and the other party will never dare to lie to me in the past. Similarly, there will be no time disaster. These three are indispensable. Otherwise another timeline will usher in the wrath of the god. He is a decisive person. Thinking of this, he looked directly at the expectant Tony Shi. Stark simply said, set the space-time coordinates. In an instant, the latter fell into an infinite shock. Dot. Earth. The Avengers base. 2023. Thanos slashed through the air, directly cutting a ravine on the ground. He turns his head with a gloomy face, looking at Thor who keeps vomiting blood, but looks at him with eyes full of sneer. You seem very confident. But dot 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 that's stupid. Thor slowly leans on a stone slab to make himself more comfortable, and then grins grimly, add, I'm not confident in me, but to him, you are dead today. Thanos, Thanos shook his head, expressionlessly said, just relying on you trash, what you find when you go back to the past is also trash, the hope you see is just the straw caught by the drowning man, and it will sink into the abyss together with it, but, even so, you can't see that moment anymore, I will let you die at the front with unwillingness and despair, as he spoke, he raised the twin blades of destruction and walked towards Thor step by step with a strong sense of oppression, Captain America roared and wanted to stop, but Ebony Moore, who appeared at an unknown time, just raised his palm, and a powerful thought immediately locked him in midair, until Thanos stops, huge amounts of shadows hang over Thor, he slowly raised the twin blades of destruction, and said in a cold tone, I will cut off your heads and put it in my collection, in the days to come, they will tell me never to be kind to a stupid life, one voice falls, the huge blade, which is more terrifying than death god sickle, cuts to Thor's neck without any hesitation, but at this moment, the dim world is suddenly illuminated, suddenly a creepy feeling appeared in Thanos' heart, and he wanted to withdraw the blade to avoid without any hesitation. However, a silver white lightning bolt as thick as a bucket hit him at this moment. Boom. Among the bursting thunder, Thor Thor directly exploded and spread the thunder. And Thanos, who fully endured the blow, uttered a scream, and was directly blasted into the ground, and at the same time endured the terrible thunder and lightning. When the lightning disappeared, Thor Thor also fell to the ground. Ignoring the severe pain in his internal organs, he looked at the figure that appeared in the distance and shouted in surprise, I knew you would come. I knew it. He prayed to the gods, and the answer dot 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 is a true god. Here, Thor looked at the other self, frowned and said coldly, Although I know you are weak, it is too embarrassing for this name to be so miserable. Thor Thor at the moment didn't care at all. Instead he vomited blood. Kalander smiled and said, You are enough. Add. Thor showed helplessness for the first time, waved his hand lightly, and immediately formed a palm in the mud to pull him back, and then threw it directly at Tony's feet. Remember to eat more salad. Thor Thor nodded but before he could speak, an angry voice came from afar, snort, does this mean you have won, Thanos walked out of the pit slowly, tearing off the broken golden armor on his body, and looked at the few people coldly, it's really stupid, do you think you can defeat me with the addition of a waste from the past, speaking, he issued the cruel order, Ebony Moore, kill that man, definitely, father, Ebony Moore's five finger grip without any hesitation, suddenly, the bricks and stones on the ground turned into dozens of spikes, stabbing at Captain America who was bound in midair, at this moment, he has even seen the bloody scene and the angry expressions of those so-called heroes. Under the gaze of the great dark titan, this group of people can only die, and this is the first one. But at this moment, Ebony Moore suddenly felt a cold gaze fall on him. In an instant, a kind of indescribable fear appeared in my heart. Ebony Moore didn't have time to figure out why, a more terrifying scene appeared in his eyes. He saw that the earth thorns he had constructed with his thoughts were burning with fiery flames. Then it will no longer be under my control and it will instantly zoom in before my eyes. This is the last picture he saw in his life. Not far away, Thanos clearly saw all the spikes burning up, turned around, and pierced through Ebony Moore in an instant. Then the flame above spread in a blink of an eye, lighting the humanoid torch. A second later, the flame disappears, leaving only a touch of white ashes. Thanos' pupils can't stop shrinking into pinpoint file size. As the Lord of the Legion, he definitely knows how powerful Ebony Moore's thoughts are, and he can completely beat other five generals of Obsidian. But just now, the control of the spikes was seized in an instant, and, what kind of flame is that, 
it can burn ebony more to ashes in one second. Just when he couldn't stop being shocked, a plain but extremely cold voice suddenly came from a distance. Who dot 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 are you going to kill? Hunger. 114 three views broken, incomprehensible power. Add. The ashes of ebony more blow with the wind. Under the breeze, Thanos felt a deep chill. He stared at the man not far away, holding the weapon firmly, gritted his teeth and said, You are definitely not Thor Odinson. He can't have the power to instantly kill up anymore. Who are you? In his view, only the dead Odin has this power in the entire Reciprotos. He was also worried about the other party bringing back Odin at the beginning. Tony heard a hint of exasperation from this tone, and the other party obviously lost the confidence in the beginning. And this is only less than 10 seconds after Thor appeared. At the moment, he can't help but look forward to what it will look like after a while. Who I am? Thor looked at Thanos indifferently, and said lightly, You can't believe your eyes anymore, Thanos. Seeing you like this. I am a little disappointed. Thanos's eyes were instantly filled with anger, and he snorted coldly. When I cut off your head, I hope you can still be so confident. The voice fell, and the ground trembled suddenly. Thanos's feet exploded with spiderweb cracks. He jumped up, brought out bursts of roar and jumped down. Seeing this, Thor didn't dodge, just waved his hand casually. Suddenly, Tony and Thor, who fell on the ground, suddenly shifted their spatial positions, and they were almost a hundred meters away in an instant. And in the next second, they saw an extremely shocking and visually impactful scene. I saw that Thor didn't move, didn't make a defensive posture, and didn't attack. It seems like a living target, about to be cut in half by Thanos. But just as the twin blades of destruction were about to fall, Thor stretched out a finger and pointed. Clang. In an instant, the terrifying air wave exploded with a deafening sound. Double blades of destruction that can tear even vibranium shields, at the moment was held firmly by a finger. Thanos' pupils shrunk instantly to the size of a pinpoint file, because his heart seemed to be hit hard by a hammer. At the moment he clearly saw the distance between that finger and his weapon by several millimeters. That's a space barrier. And what shocked him was, he doesn't know how the other party built the defense in an instant, and he doesn't understand why such a thin space barrier can easily block the slash of his own power. 1. At this moment, Thanos suddenly dilates his pupils again. He saw the opponent withdraw his arm and then punched out. 930 white mist burst out of the air in an instant, and an extremely terrifying force fell on the twin blades of destruction. A hundred meters away, Tony and Thor Thor had a clear perception that the air trembled first, and then saw that a terrifying fist easily smashed the weapon forged from a powerful alloy, and then bombarded Thanos without slowing down. In an instant, a mass of blood mist sprayed out, but it was blocked by an invisible space barrier, forming a striking blood curtain. And Thanos, his upper body battle suit instantly exploded into strips of cloth and his body turned into an afterimage that pierced through a ruin with a bang, and then exploded from the other end until plowing hundreds of meters of ditch on the ground. This scene happened to be witnessed by Black Widow and Hawkeye who helped each other climb out of the ground. The two suddenly fell into petrification. They don't know how the dead Thanos got here. I don't know how Thor in another timeline came from. All they know is that as soon as they came out of the ground, they saw Thor beating Thanos mercilessly. This is really painful just looking at it. And at this moment, what is even more shocking is all the soldiers on Holy Place Number 2 and the remaining five generals of Obsidian. What did they see? Add. The Dark Titan that dominates the universe and no one dares to mess with is actually in the hands of the person who just appeared, even under the premise of taking the initiative to attack. He didn't even hold on for a second, and was blown away with a punch in a crushing posture. Even if it weren't for the fact that the chest was still heaving, they would even have thought that the Legionnaire had died. Outside the light curtain, Thanos felt phantom pains all over his body, although the power of this Thor has been shown in the previous light curtain. But he still couldn't accept it, and was almost killed by overwhelming force with just one blow. And what makes him even more uneasy is at the moment, in the future, I will very likely face this man, and relying on the current strength, 100% will die by myself. The original plan has completely failed, and I must find new strength. At this time, a trembling sound full of pain came from the light curtain. All attack. Order issued. Suddenly, blue rays of light fell from holy place number two, densely packed biochemical beasts and elite soldiers were sent down, and black dwarf hit the ground one after another and roared. In a blink of an eye, a dark army that frightens the universe appears. The next second, with bursts of terrifying roars, CGDD. The attack begins. At this moment, the ground trembled crazily which woke up Ant-Man and Dr. Green, and also woke up Black Widow and Hawkeye who were in a trance. Looking at the army approaching like a tsunami in the distance, they instinctively made an attack posture and raised their weapons, but they were at a loss. How to fight this? Compared with the exaggerated scene in front of you, the Chaitori army during the Battle of New York in 2012 is simply a pile of garbage. But even at that time, if the Space Channel could not be closed, they might not be the ones who won in the end. And now, although there is one more Thor who seems to be more powerful, 
in the eyes of several people, this is still a drop in the bucket. Personal force seems to be completely worthless in the face of this kind of interstellar army that has experienced countless killings and is extremely terrifying. What's more, the weapons of these armies are also very powerful. At this moment, several people looked at Captain America, Iron Man and Thor Thor almost simultaneously. This is the core of the Avengers, they will charge with the three until they die. However, at this glance, several people were stunned for a moment, because, Iron Man and Thor Thor were expressionless, and even stood there looking very honest, motionless, with no intention of making a move. As for Captain American on the side, he has the same puzzled expression as them. At this moment, Tony patted the tense Steve and said, take it easy dot 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 oh, no, remember not to blink. What do you mean? Captain America asked with a puzzled expression, and at this moment, he suddenly saw in the center of the battlefield, the Thor who was rescued from another timeline slowly floated up and opened his arms. The next second, a calm voice resounded in everyone's heart. Flame. The sound is so calm, but it's like a drop of water has dropped into a hot oil pan. Shake the mountains in an instant. Under everyone's shocking eyes, countless crimson flames spewed out from the shattered earth, engulfing the black army like a flood in an instant. The terrifying high temperature seems to distort the surrounding space. At a glance, it seems as if the end is coming, and hell is here. And in that sea of flames, there were no screams, only a tingling silence. It seems that this terrifying alien army has all died the moment it was engulfed by flames. At this moment, the members of Black Widows, who were still in a state of despair just now, have completely lost the ability to think. Add, they don't know what kind of terrifying power this is. They just think it's like God's punishment in mythology. The gods are angry, and a million corpses are buried. Looking at the crimson flames, Thor Thor couldn't help sighing. This is just the most common use of Vulcan's power, I can't imagine how terrifying his full power will be. He has no doubt that the flame giant he saw before is definitely not the opponent's trump card. And upon hearing this, Captain America's already wide eyes couldn't stop shaking. Such an exaggeration, isn't it the strongest? How terrifying the real power will be, he can't even imagine it! Exclamation mark. At this moment, an incomparably terrifying shock appeared. I saw the back of the sea of fire suddenly exploded and a shock with purple light instantly formed a huge gully with a width of 100 meters, revealing the figure behind. That's Thanos. At the moment he not only stood up again, but also became very terrifying. Cracks of broken porcelain appeared on the surface of the originally powerful body, and there was a surge of dark purple energy inside. That apostrophe s dot 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 the power gem. Thor Thor yelled out in disbelief. This lunatic actually pressed it directly into the flesh and blood. Isn't he afraid of being killed by gems directly? Seeing the puzzled looks from Tony and Steve on the side, he explained. The power gem is completely different from other gems, because in addition to possessing extremely powerful power, the power contained in it will also destroy all life that holds it. It is the only infinite rough stone that cannot be touched directly. At this moment, Thanos's crazy laughter came from a distance. This power, this feeling, I feel like I can destroy everything. Speaking, he showed a cruel expression, looked at Thor in the sky and grinned. Do you think you are strong after destroying my army? But do you know what I'm going to do next? I will tear you apart along with this planet. The voice fell, and me squatted down suddenly. Suddenly there was a violent roar, the earth was overwhelmed by the vibration, and horrible cracks began to spread from his feet, revealing a palpitating purple light. Seeing this scene, all the Avengers suddenly felt an unstoppable terror in their hearts. It's so exaggerated just by accumulating power, it's hard to imagine how terrifying the next blow will be. And looking at Thanos's more and more bent legs, more and more purple light, the instinct that cannot be avoided, cannot be blocked, and wants to turn around and run away even the will cannot be suppressed. At this moment, all the Avengers felt an absurd but real feeling in their hearts. Under this blow, everything will be reduced to powder, including the soul. At this moment, the crack on Thanos' body suddenly lit up. In an instant the ground shattered like a million tons of dynamite exploded underground, and huge amounts of soil rolled over, shattered, and then squeezed and bulged together. Looking from a distance, it looks like a calm lake and then suddenly there are countless folds hundreds of meters high. And at this very moment, all the Avengers were horrified to find that they had shifted their position and became above the sky. At this moment, crackling sound sounded. Everyone saw that Thanos slowed down during the leap, and cracks visible to the naked eye appeared around him. It seems that the frozen space has been broken through. You can't stop me, you, add. Thanos roared. The energy of the power gem in the cracks on his body became more intense, and the shattering of the frozen space suddenly accelerated. Thor raised his right hand at some point, and Mjolnir was held in his hand, and a pair of white eyes stared at him coldly, Block, don't you understand, Thanos, there is a gully between you and me that even infinite gems can't stop, I just, want you to understand a little more, hearing this, the Avengers looked instinctively, and then saw an even more heart shocking scene, I saw the golden divine power erupting from Thor who was suspended in midair, condensing layers of armor, after the blazing flame cloak, the power of the four elements of earth, fire, feng shui rotates, 
emitting bursts of divine light, and the surrounding space begins to fluctuate. Boom. The sky instantly became cloudy, and the dim light was like a solar eclipse. Endless lightning covers the sky and illuminates everything. The next second, an extremely exaggerated scene appears. The sky shakes violently. The Avengers looked up and saw that the clouds suddenly parted from the left and right, and one by one, the thunder giants who could not even see the whole body at a glance, almost occupying the entire sky leaned out, body, looking down on all the ants like a god. The sense of oppression makes everyone completely unable to breathe, even forgetting that they are still alive. At this moment Thor plunges into it like a shooting star. In an instant, the thunder giant's eyes brightened up. The left eye is fire. The right eye is water. Die. A dull and loud sound that made the earth tremble again. The clouds that had not yet fully diffused were smashed directly. The thunder giant stretched out his arm and an extremely huge war hammer wrapped in thunder and flames made a deafening sound, crushing there. All the air blasts towards Thanos with unimaginable pressure. No, how could I lose? Looking at this terrifying scene, Thanos is completely crazy. He roared and frantically squeezed the power of the gemstone, and purple flames sprouted from the cracks in his body at this moment. The next moment, all the Avengers saw the incomprehensible huge war hammer entwined with terrifying energy, and it hit a purple spot of light. There is no sound. The world seemed to be darkened, First a purple light exploded, and then everything was swallowed up by another force. I don't know how long it has passed. The Avengers who seemed to be resurrected from the dead stared into the distance blankly. That's the direction Thanos was in just now. Warhammer and Thanos have long since disappeared. A dark bottomless abyss appeared on the ground, connecting the ocean. However, there is no seawater pouring in, because, Nhai is also divided, like a cliff. The sea is separated by several kilometers wide. I don't know how deep, test, because, along the straight line, there is a huge amount of hole in the atmosphere. From the perspective of everyone, it seems that there is an extremely exaggerated giant scar on the earth, it is so shocking. There is even an illusion that if the blow is facing the ground, then the entire planet may be destroyed. At this moment, all the Avengers are in the shock of breaking their three views. 115 Get out, Carol, you are not welcome on earth. Add. Tens of seconds later, a continuous roar sounded. It was like the sound of a thousand meter tsunami crashing down and the seawater pouring in madly. Until this moment, all the Avengers just woke up like a dream, their hearts were beating wildly, and there was a strong feeling of gratitude for the rest of their lives deep in their hearts. Just at that moment, they even felt that they would die in that kind of horror of completely losing themselves. That terrible darkness. There is no doubt that my spiritual world has collapsed, and I was completely dominated by that kind of mighty power to produce vision. No, maybe it's not the vision, but the essence of that power but they can't understand it, they can only see it. As the thinking becomes more and more clear, Black Widow and Hawkeye, who thought they must die before, feel so ridiculous at the moment. The true God is right in front of them, but they think that the disaster will win. The other side, Tony and Thor at the moment didn't react much better either. Although they have seen the extremely powerful flame giant before, they did not expect to see an even more terrifying power today. When the thunder giant who completely occupies the entire sky with half his body appears, at that moment, they really felt as if they had become a speck of dust, so insignificant that they would disappear at any time. In the sky, holy place number two is still floating intact. But in the cabin, Nebula and Gamera are completely scared to death. The Dark Titan they feared, and the entire Dark Army were completely wiped out in less than three minutes. This is something they dare not even imagine. Outside the light curtain, in the universe, countless people at the moment are in the same mood as these two sisters, because whether it is Mephisto or Mephisto or the dimension of Scython, the known existence belongs to very few. Even though it was known through the light curtain that it was ridiculously powerful, apart from being shocked, there was no other feeling. After all, that's too far away. But Thanos is different. That is the lunatic that almost all cosmic empires, even the land of nothingness and destroyers are unwilling to provoke. Genocide. Invade the planet. Destroy civilization. I don't know how many lives were killed. The power of the Dark Legion and the Mad Titan is completely imprinted in my heart. Even that kind of fear is close at hand and will come at any time. However, such Thanos, who was feared by countless people, was completely killed by Thor with overwhelming power at the moment. Can't even resist choosing the power gem. Until this moment, only then did many beings fully understand how powerful this Thor is. Add, at this time, Gamera and Xinyan in the spaceship suddenly felt a strong sense of being watched. Their hairs stood on end and their backs were instantly wet with cold. The next second, the golden portal suddenly opened under the two people's feet, and they fell directly into it without any warning, and then fell to the ground. At this moment Thor shakes slightly. All the Avengers who were protected by the space barrier he had just entered were instantly replaced by space and appeared on the ground. Looking at the people who were still in a daze, he opened his mouth and said casually, you deal with these two people, they are the only two people who didn't participate in the battle just now. Xing Yun suddenly anxiously opened his mouth and explained, the nebula before me is in the past, I was replaced. I'm sorry, I didn't expect this to happen either. After hearing this explanation, 
the Avengers sighed. They thought time travel was too simple, and none of them succeeded according to the expected plan. Rocket walked over, patted Xinyan on the shoulder and comforted him. Don't be afraid, everything is over. Then he turned his head to look at another familiar stranger, sighed and said, As for Gamera, I think it's better to lock it up first. Everyone has no objection to this. Gamera also breathed a sigh of relief. It's good that she wasn't killed directly. At this moment, a buzzing sound sounded. Everyone looked up and found that the naval guns of Holy Place No. 2 were all lit up, and then aimed at Fango in the distant atmosphere. Tony frowned, not understanding what happened, and so did the others. Gamera immediately explained, the active defense system of the spacecraft was triggered, something broke through the atmosphere. Hearing this, everyone instinctively looked at Thor. Everyone didn't even hesitate in their hearts, believing that this powerful god must know what it is. Thor just glanced casually, then sneered and said, it's your Captain Marvel who is back. It's quite timely. And at the moment when his voice fell, a yellow light could already be seen in the distant sky approaching rapidly, and the target in the direction was the spaceship. Tony's face turned green in an instant. This stupid woman. The Earth never comes back when it needs this woman. Are you going to smash the most important loot this time as soon as you come back now? He doesn't think Thor can take a fancy to this thing, so this space battleship is definitely the key to the growth of Earth civilization. Tony immediately put on the nano armor with less than half left and started calling the other party frantically. However, at this moment, Carol has no time to read the information at all, and she is full of anger towards Thanos, so she rushes towards the battleship without hesitation. Fuck. Tony's face turned pale with anger, but his broken armor no longer supports him to fly into the sky. The expressions of the others changed immediately when they saw this, knowing that Tony must have not contacted Carol. At this moment, Captain America regrets letting Tony call this woman back. This time the opponent is not only one step behind, but also about to destroy the most important spoils of this time. Add, boom boom boom. A series of blue energy shells blasted out, but they couldn't even make a stop when they exploded on that golden figure. On the ground, the Avengers looked at the woman about to destroy the spaceship with livid faces, feeling angry and powerless in their hearts. But at this moment, a disgusted cold snort sounded in everyone's ears. In the next moment, everyone saw a silver thunder pillar with a thickness of tens of meters and an aura of death penetrating down from the sky hitting Carol precisely. Boom. The ground trembled wildly. Carol was shot down directly, and was suppressed in the thunder. This scene immediately surprised Tony and others, and then looked at Thor very gratefully. Only when the opponent makes a move, can Captain Marvel be stopped so easily. At this time Thor took a look at Xinyan, and said without doubt, go and land the spaceship and turn off all systems. As his voice fell, ten golden portals took shape in the blink of an eye. Xinyan nodded, and quickly stepped in without any objection. As the daughter of Thanos who personally remodeled, she has certain authority over the spaceship, and it is very easy to close it. The next second, everyone saw Thor stepping out and disappearing in place. Among the thunder pillar, Carol, who was furious and unwilling to struggle to get up, suddenly saw Thor appearing in front of his eyes. Having not seen each other for five years, the other party seems to have become a little indifferent, especially the kind of looking down eyes, as if with contempt. Jael himself is very uncomfortable. Then she Carol remembered that the other party was Thor who could control the thunder. Suddenly Rage thought that this man had betrayed the Earth and joined Thanos. But she still roared out, and saw a fist rapidly enlarged in front of her eyes. Far away. At this moment, all the Avengers clearly saw that Thor punched down in the thunder, and there was a loud noise in an instant, and the ground shattered and turned up. The next second, all the lightning disappeared, and a figure was thrown over, thrown on the ground like a piece of rag. Ask for flowers. Natasha Romanoff stepped forward and touched Carol's carotid archery, then turned to the crowd and said, Not dead just passed out. After hearing this, everyone breathed a sigh of relief, and their faces became indifferent again. It's fine if you don't die, as for whether you are seriously injured. Sorry, no one really cares now. Dot. A few days later, Carol suddenly woke up from the bed, and instinctively made an attack posture. But she froze in the next second. Because this is not a spaceship prison, but an ordinary room. A few seconds later, the camera on the roof turned its angle of view, and Tony Stark's indifferent voice sounded from above, Miss Carol. Please answer if you are awake. Hearing this voice, Carol suddenly showed surprise. Great, you guys are still moist. I thought I came back late and wanted to avenge you. It seems that Thanos, who has not been backlashed by infinite gems, is not very strong. Add, speaking of what she remembered, she rubbed her head and said in displeasure. Oh, by the way, what happened to the Thor who attacked me earlier? Don't you know we are teammates? Zero. She said a lot, but didn't get an answer. The next second, a cold voice came. After voting by all Avengers, S-H-I-E-L-D, Tangent Bureau, Congress, and the United Nations, it was finally passed unanimously. J. Miss Carol Danvers, 
From today onwards you are no longer an Avenger, nor a part of humanity. The Earth no longer welcomes the great Miss Marvel. You are limited to leave the Earth within 24 hours. Definitely, you can say goodbye to your friends on Earth. However, as a friendly reminder, Miss Maria Rambo died in the extinction five years ago. Listening to this cold voice, Carol showed an expression of disbelief. What is this? Have you been expelled? How can it be? How could this be? She looked at the camera and shouted angrily, Humanity needs my protection, and I am the strongest one. If you do this, it is irresponsible to the Earth. In her opinion, the Avengers on Earth are too weak, and they cannot match against powerful enemies. How dangerous the universe is, she knows it. At this time, there is a sneer in the loudspeaker. Miss Danvers, what contribution have you made to the Earth? Don't say you drove away the Kree. According to the records of SHIELD, the Kree issue back then was also related to you. And dot 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 have you found the home of the Skrull people? Do you know that because of your dishonesty, now that group of aliens may endanger the Earth at any time? Carol fell silent for a while, but she is still not reconciled. She is an Earthling. How could she be expelled by her compatriots? A few seconds later, she said in a deep voice, No one can deprive me of my human identity. Hearing this, Tony laughed lightly and said, No, someone can. 24 hours is an ultimatum. If you don't leave, according to the words of that existence, then there is no need for you to leave. This sentence made Carol suddenly recall the scene of being almost killed by a punch, and trembled involuntarily. At this time, Tony's voice continued to sound, HMPH, you are already very lucky. If it wasn't for him not wanting to interfere too much with the timeline here, you would be an ordinary person now. So, get out early, Danvers. Earth, you are really not welcome. Dot. 1162012, Ancient One. Add. Thor didn't leave. Since he came, it is definitely not just for the remaining half of humanity. Since Sorcerer Supreme Strange is sure that he will come, let's see what the other party will prepare for him. He believes that the person who can be favored by Ancient One and take over with complete confidence will definitely not be a fool. Since this is the case, it is better to let him lead the time travel. At least it will not cause Thanos to come back. If something is wrong, it can be withdrawn immediately without affecting the timeline. Finally Pime Particles are not a problem either. Although this world is gone, there are still many left on my side. Avengers New Base When Tony broke the news to everyone, it seems that falling into hell will be devoured by the devil, but being rescued by the gods is full of great surprises in everyone's heart. Only after experiencing the despair of the real 033 will you know what a gift it is. Tony immediately started to recreate the quantum travel machine, and finished the previous month's work in just 10 days. Outside the light curtain, Thanos' heart jumped when he saw it and he almost cursed this group of useless Avengers, if they can't play, they just shake people, right? Do you want to be so shameless? He had some sympathy for his own fate in another timeline when he met an extremely exaggerated Thor Odinson. In the end, I turned around and played this game for myself. In the future, he would not hesitate to die twice to fulfill his dream, and this is the end. For a moment, an extremely aggrieved feeling appeared in my heart. The most important is, he felt that unless he got all the infinite gems, he would never be the opponent of the opponent. But the problem is, now when the light curtain comes out, collecting all gems will become extremely difficult. Even, Tony Stark can make a quantum machine in advance to find each other. Add, at this moment, he suddenly thought of something. Not necessarily only the Avengers will look for thighs. He remembered that Deadpool once said that killing life would please the goddess of death. That is the real god of the universe, an existence equal to the eternal god. Perhaps, I can really please the other party, so as to gain power. Thinking of this, Thanos showed a sneer. Who will win and who will lose in the future is still uncertain. On the Rand stage, as the Prince machine was turned on, Tony put on his white uniform, took a deep breath and felt a little nervous. After all, the history of the two sides is different. Thor is responsible for collecting gems, and he counts as a guide. This time he hopes not to jump to the wrong timeline again. The next second, with the opening of the quantum realm, huge amounts of gravity appear. New York, 2012, with two blue lights flashing. The two suddenly appeared on a street corner. At this time, there was a roar in the sky, and a beast-like roar came from a distance. That's Hulk hitting Chitauri. Seeing this scene, Tony breathed a sigh of relief. Right. This is their history, the Battle of New York. At this moment, Tony even felt that those Chitauri with hideous faces were very kind. Thor's gaze reveals a faint white glow and looks into the distance. Although there are dozens of buildings covering it, he clearly saw another Sotori army fighting. That's just dot 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 horrible. Rough fighting skills. Low to outrageous use of divine power. Even the power of thunder is activated through Mjolna. Add. Not even Thor's priesthood awakening. Completely a hammer god. Has he always been this useless? Thor looks at Tony with an incomprehensible look and asks. Tony was taken aback for a moment, and then understood who he was talking about. He suddenly shows a wry smile. Although he told the other party to be a shocker, he has to admit that Thor is definitely the strongest among the Avengers besides Hulk. But in the eyes of this Thor, that is trash. As for people like myself, 
They are even worse than trash. He smiled awkwardly and said, Actually, he is already very good. Thor shook his head slightly and said, 1,500 years old, even a radish cultivator can smash dead man. He is an Ezeprotos, it is an insult to the bloodline. Actually, it is not this that Thor is a little angry in his heart. It's that the opponent can obviously become stronger, but only after the death of his father, mother, younger brother, or even the destruction of Asgard, will he arouse his own strength. This is simply a big mistake. Great power is not for revenge. It is a sword used to destroy all enemies and protect the most important thing of oneself. Definitely, for him it is better to go to the stairs with the highest view. These two are not in conflict. Outside the light curtain, hearing this heartfelt voice, Thor was extremely ashamed. This is not only in terms of strength, but also in the understanding of power, and even in the cognition of everything. He still clearly remembers how arrogant he used to be. That's just plain stupid. At this moment, he didn't ask himself to become as strong as the other party. But from now on, the other party will be the goal of his life. Add, Thor doesn't look at his other self anymore. Otherwise he won't be able to resist going over and giving him a hammer. He looked at Tony and said, You are responsible for monitoring Mind Gem. Don't claim it without authorization. I'm going to get the Time Gem. Tony nodded, expressing his understanding. As for the Space Gem, the two don't plan to take it here. According to history, Tesseract will be stored in the Asgard treasury later. Get it there, the impact will be lower. After Thor gave his instructions, he released an advanced invisibility spell on Tony and then flew towards New York to Holy Place in the same invisibility. Different timelines, it is best not to open the portal, the Holy Place structure on both sides may not be the same. At the moment it is better to be careful. Dot. 117 A Brick Street Sorcerer Supreme Ancient One stood on the roof, waving the magic weapon casually. Any Chaitori approaching the Holy Place will explode out of thin air. At this moment, she suddenly looked back at the 0.7 air not far away and smiled. Very clever invisibility magic. Is it the spell of the Witch Forest? or is it inherited from Asgard? At this time, a calm voice came from the air, I improved it by manipulating the light. However, it still looks flawed. Thor lifted the invisibility magic and landed on the ground, then nodded slightly, with a neutral tone, and said very formally, Thor middle dot Odin sen, Kamataj, Sorcerer Supreme. Hearing such words, at this moment, even those with the psychological quality of Ancient One were stunned for a moment. However, she immediately showed a smile and said meaningfully, it seems that the two of us have a lot to talk about next. 117 The method of sparring between Sorcerer Supreme. Add. Rooftop of Holy Place in New York. Ancient One stretches out his hand, making an invitation gesture towards Thor. The honored guests come from afar, and talking upstairs shows that Kamataj doesn't know how to treat guests. Please come with me. As the voice fell, Ancient One took a step forward. The space changed in an instant and she had already arrived at the second floor of Holy Place, outside the light curtain. Many people saw a hint of a test from this step, only. Just when Ancient One looked up, he found Thor standing in front of him. It's exactly the same as the position on the roof of the building just now, as if it has never moved. Ancient One smiled lightly, as if nothing had happened, and continued, It's still too simple here, I think it's better to go to Kamite. After speaking, she stepped forward again. But at this time, Thor also took a step forward, and said calmly, No, it's quiet here just right for a conversation. 1. Space book invisible. But at this moment, with a dull sound that seemed to be born from nothing, it turned out to have substance. As if poured by countless gels, it appears in a clearly defined wheel. After one second, all these visions 26 disappeared again, as if nothing had ever happened. Instead, the levitating cloak floating in the transparent cabinet hugged its head, rolled into a ball, and stuffed itself at the bottom of the cabinet very honestly. Ancient One's eyes are finally no longer so calm. Add, however, she didn't show any abnormality, but said with a smile. In that case, please sit down, under the window of the world, she waved one hand, and the sparkling golden magic circle stretched out, forming a magic table and chair with mysterious patterns. However, there is only one chair. Thor didn't seem to notice this, he just pressed his hand lightly on the actual spell lines, chuckled and said, Ancient One Magician doesn't seem to receive guests very often. This kind of table seems petty. It's not the way to entertain guests. If you want me to say, it's better like this. In an instant, the golden lines on the table constructed by Ancient One began to flow again, just like gold thread spreading and entangled with each other. In a blink of an eye, a long golden table with obvious Adrian style appeared. At the same time, the space here is also extended, just a little longer than the table. Thor sat back, and the chair formed by the golden magic circle condensed out automatically, just in time to catch him. That's because I didn't think carefully. Ancient One nodded, sat down with a smile, then tapped lightly on the table and suddenly two teacups appeared at both ends of the table out of thin air, as if they had been there all along. To express my apologies, let Thor Magician have a cup of tea. As her voice fell, steaming tea slowly floated out of the empty teacup, and it didn't stop until it was about to overflow. Thor sighs when he sees this, unfortunately, 
I don't like drinking tea. In an instant, the clear tea in the teacup quickly turned into a bright red color, and bursts of aroma after brewing grapes wafted out. The tea has turned into fine wine. Chatteram, Quill, I don't know what happened, but it feels so awesome. Agatha, these are two top magicians testing each other. Magician Wang, this kind of space control and spell manipulation really makes my scalp tingle. If I can learn one tenth of the light curtain in my life, I will definitely die without feeling it. Baron Mordo, too greedy, 1% is enough for you to learn for a lifetime. Add, Magician Wang, hee hee. By the way, you are also supreme, right? Dare to ask Mordo Magician, can you do the operation of Ancient One and Thor? Baron Mordo, I will definitely be able to in the future. Tony, that's no, man, you're so euphemistic. Magician King, huh, he can catch up to Thor, I write the name upside down. In the Illuminati, Baron Mordo's face was very ugly. Comparing Ancient One and Thor, his sorcerer supreme gap is too big. Since Strange's death, he has practiced hard every day and never slack off. But ability is ability. Facing these two people, he couldn't even see his back on the road of magician. King Magician is right. It is impossible for him to reach this level in his life. This is the despair that can be seen but powerless. As well as, at this moment he looked at Thor's figure, completely unable to hide the jealousy in his eyes. Looking at the red wine in his teacup, Ancient One smiled with admiration. It seems that I have found a good successor on the other side. Thor is not surprised that this woman who has lived for thousands of years knows her identity, shrugging his shoulders and explaining, it's just acting as an agent for five years. Ancient One laughed suddenly, that can only be called Kamataj's loss. But, speaking of Ancient One, he changed the subject and said solemnly, as a sorcerer supreme, you should know how terrible things can be caused by invading time at will. Thor nods, add, not only do I know, but this time I have to borrow something. Ancient One probably knew what it was, but he still asked, what do you want to borrow? Time gem, Thor replied. Ancient One's expression became serious. It's still the same sentence. As a sorcerer supreme, you should understand what our responsibility is. 160 Thor didn't refute this, but said calmly, I used to have the same opinion as you, until I knew the weight. Strange, you took the initiative to hand over the time gem to others. And the history of Tony Stark should have jumped into the history of your timeline but they accidentally went to my place. Ancient One narrowed his eyes immediately after hearing this. Strange is her predetermined next sorcerer supreme, with the most powerful ability besides Agamotto. Oh no, there may be a Thor Odinson from another timeline now. But no matter what, the opponent will be a protective shield stronger than himself. If Strange did this, then there must be a reason. And obviously, the Thor in front of him also thought of this. Plus the accidents of Iron Man and others. A truth is about to come out. That's the only way Strange sees winning. Only. Ancient One looked at the aura in front of her like an ordinary person. But behind her she seemed to see a terrifying god surrounded by elemental power. That's a power that frightens even her. So, this powerful existence. Has Strange figured out what the price will be? After all, everything in fate. Has already marked the price in secret. If you like this audiobook. Subscribe the channel for more videos like this and join my Patreon if you want to support me. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.